Hello and welcome to the Computer Game Show. My name's David Turner. I'm here with Sean Bell. Hello. Matt Murray. Hi. And our special guest this week is Tom Ory. Hello. Hi Tom, how are you doing? All right. Thanks, Good. thanks for coming on. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's been interesting so far. Uh, <laughs> right, so no, actually, start, yeah. There's, there's what, what, a what secret bit before. No one knows this maybe, but there's like a secret chat room where we all hang out and chat. Yeah, and then we can't live. mention this stuff because then the, the podcast listeners, who are ninety nine percent of our audience, start to get upset because they feel like you can upsell that, can't you? Up. Like give them that as well, extra bit. You of could, push. you could, uh, yeah, yeah. Sign up to the Patreon. Maybe we clip the, those bits and put that out on Patreon. Extra money, it's, it's very, extra it's money there. It's really interesting. I know, <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Um, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's start the show by um thanking our patreon producers this month they are aaron pa patrick the quickbooks chap simon nelson moomin biscuits trans rights of human rights dave ernsberger colin brown gazman rocketman 76 smooth monkey richard sawyer john tempelli jackie sniper sam higton tom s stan philip with an f fred fenge steve the nuke littler cutty Happy birthday, TCGS. Love from Major PDD. T hashtag TCGSCon24. And a new Full Nels member has joined the ranks. Steve Lee, thank you so much for going Full Nels. Uh, you can support us uh, by going to patreon.com forward slash TCGS. Uh, we have bonus shows. We have video content. Sonic versus Zonic is happening at some point. We promise it will happen this month. We will find out what Zonic is all about in the world of Sonic the Hedgehog. Choose your own adventure books. Um, uh, what's this here? I've got someone's added things to my my list here. Things. Not sure where to put this, but I have a section I'd like to call "Feeling Sad." Oh, mm. Tom, you've added to our, our uh, show notes. Brilliant. I, I mean, right. I, it's but, a banging way to start a video mm. games podcast. Yeah. What? Well, um, feeling way. sad. What's, what's up? What's I up? didn't realise this was the start, to be honest. I just put the notes in there. <laughs> okay, before, I, before, I, before, I, before I go on to that, I just want to call out Fred Fenge. What a name. Oh. oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, Fred Fenge is... Uh, Has that been as, talked as about before? Name. Like, that is a good uh, name, isn't it? I don't think we've highlighted Fred Fenge as a, I mean, as a top our own. Yeah, it's, it's, we do, fucked do, up. Yeah, you're think, making us feel bad now. You should, I think, do you not pick favourites? <laughs> oh, we've definitely got favourites. <laughs> oh, so There's no need to call him that. The, well, we, it we, was kind of annoying. We, we, don't, we, don't, we don't pick favourites um, on the show. But yeah, no, before before the show, we decide who, who the best mm. ones are, definitely. Yeah, yeah Stan. Stan. <laughs> Stan. <laughs> um, Tom, welcome to the show. Thank you so much uh, uh, for joining us. Um, I think maybe we should uh, start by uh, Matt apologising for, for the fuck up today, the blunder this morning um, when putting out the... Uh, Putting out the tweet this morning, Matt. Do you want to explain? Well, I, I, I just thought I'd do some research, and apparently, I, I uh, incorrectly I put your wrong job title, basically, Tom. So yeah. for that, for that, I do apologise. I, I simply went to your I got demotion or something. Yeah, yeah, simply yeah, went yeah. to your ex profile and mm. uh, looked at the information there, and then thought that was enough. But uh, Mis well, misread, <laughs> misread the information there, Matt. Yeah, right. um, do you want to explain, Sean? What did he do in the in the WhatsApp group? <laughs> So, <laughs> after after Tom, so you tweeted to say Tom was the yeah, yeah, editor yeah, yeah. in chief of VG twenty four seven, right? Yeah. And and Tom replied, mm, "That's not my job." <laughs> um, you screenshotted that, put it in our WhatsApp group, and said, "Have I missed something here?" Yeah, you screenshotted Tom's profile. <laughs> yeah, I thought yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, I you thought I was like, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. missed the word like, former, former, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, I just. Discounted so, would, did you look at that list of former positions, Matt, and think, God, he's busy, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I think I probably did, actually, yeah. That's crazy, a lot in there. <laughs> he's got too much. So, what are you doing these days, Tom? What, what well, is I your am, official I, title? I'm Deputy Editorial Director at Gamer Network. That's so, I still, I still... So, show a bit of fucking respect, Matt, yeah? I'm, like quite, I'm quite senior now. Quite, like, big, a big deal. Big so, cheese. um... Yeah, I still work with like I still oversee VG twenty four seven and some other stuff. But yeah, I just, so would you call um, yourselves an editor of sorts? Uh, no. In chief, no, you wouldn't. Okay, fine. No. no. <laughs> but at that level, at the level that you're at now, are you scared of us and what we're doing over here? Like taking out, you know, we're not we're not even we're doing this part time, and we seem to be the biggest thing about gaming on the internet on the right planet, now. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean, one not... of the things I was going to bring up was. Uh, 
I don't want this to come across in a rude way. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> but my question okay. really, and I, I thought earlier about how to phrase this, and it was just, it boiled down to, who are you? Like, <laughs> well, in, in like a, because I know who you are, like your names, right? Yeah. And famous. I know you've been on the internet for a while because somehow we talk to each other now and again. <laughs> but I don't actually know who you are or like, <laughs> Where did you come from? What's your background? Like, I don't know. Um, I mean, this just, you know what this reminds me of? I was listening to um, an interview with the editor of uh, the NME magazine who said he knew that his career was over when he went to Reading Festival and everyone was going to see the Arts and Monkeys. He'd never heard of them, yet everyone was singing their words and he went, right, well, we've missed it. We're out of touch now. It's kind of feels similar think, um mm -hmm. well we're, we're we're an independent video games podcast that's been going for eight years now and um and we're pretty we're pretty big i think we're pretty big are we pretty big sean pretty big we're pretty big mate pretty big. so mm. but like what would you yeah. like well how did you get to that what do you were you just in games media? Doing it for just, years. Just, <laughs> just talent <laughs> just sort of talent no what, what it was we've been podcast so sean had a podcast called midnight resistance you mm. must have heard of that did you hear that yeah i've heard of that yeah you're lying aren't you tom You've i've heard, never of it. heard i've of never midnight listened resistance. to it but i've heard of it all right <laughs> and i was on Joypod, and i started that because um uh, i was doing stand-up at the time and then i moved to milton Keynes, and there was no stand-up comedy um places there so i decided to do a podcast about video games and then we all sort of had kids so everything sort of went away and then they got older and a little bit more manageable um and then we all sort of come back together so the timeline's a bit squiffy there because you you had your boy sean about like two years in, into the show year or two in, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah 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 and and then i had my second child uh, just after that like about no it was before that well i know it's not important but um but yeah we sort of started on roll muck and that's where i met matt i was and, on there yeah. i was on there too no you weren't when yeah, were you on roll muck what was your name on roll muck i don't know but i was on edge yeah, before then and then we moved to there yes maybe. yeah that's yeah. that was yeah. what, so, that's what we all that's what we all did yeah yeah my, See, i was a different Elmo world a different there. world you could we could have been best mates I mean, we might we have been. Well, we don't know what your username was. We could have been That's, best yeah, mates. That door is open. I don't know. You mm. kind of ruined that when I applied for a job when you were at Video Gamer, and you didn't mm. even. You sort of sent me a message saying, "Ha ha ha." I mean, that I, was I it. Thought that <laughs> was the appropriate response. Do people know? Have you explained what your application was? My application met the requirements of the job application. Mm. I think I'm trying to remember it right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was you <laughs> doing yeah. like a, a self-recorded. Uh, phone video with your yeah. usual like I'm a comedian face <laughs> um, That's just and, then, and then I think you said something like hello I'm the German man <laughs> that was my character that and I was then, going because you had characters that and then uh, did video some, game. some a bad accent for about a minute and then that was it <laughs> wait so I uh, this was Jesus this was when just I think the person that ended up getting that job was Jim I think that was the period when I sent in. And you, you put an advert out that said, uh, or, um, uh, for, for, uh, you were looking for a video, someone to work on video. Um, and you had to send in a five minute video. And I thought, wouldn't it be funny if I tried to make the worst video <laughs> known to man? So I donned my Call of Duty uh, free, I think it was Call of Duty Ghosts or something like that t shirt. I put a massive light behind me so you could barely see anything. <laughs> and then I had a character called the German Map, which I thought was good. And not even I, a response. I think about, about it quite a lot, actually. <laughs> Do you know I had to take that off the internet? I'd say it's down now because um, I used... I, I, didn't, I didn't... So what happened was a couple of years ago, I shot a video for Harry's Little League team. I did see it all together. Put it on YouTube, um, but, you know, sort of made it unlisted. And then sent it to the WhatsApp group. And about a day later, I went, oh, what What happens if I click my account name on that YouTube video? Because that's what you would fucking do, wouldn't you, mm. if you got a video like that? And there was me standing in there going, hello, I'm the German man. I don't like that game. And I thought, right, okay, this is all getting, like, unlisted now. <laughs> no one should be able to see this stuff. So that's all gone now. But, um, yeah, I, I did have one question about your time mm. at Video Gamer. Yeah. Was there any point where you just went, like with the video stuff, 
did you go, all right, that's enough wrestling now? Was there was there any point where you just went, okay, that's that's Not enough? Really. We Come all on. know I who think, the Rock is. I think <laughs> eventually it just became more and more wrestling, didn't it? To be fair, <laughs> I mean, did, at the end, did, I was did. doing, I was hitting people with trays and stuff. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> that stuff was amazing. And that's like yeah. at that point, I thought this is peak. This is I'm never going to get better than this in my career. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean. It's a shame it ended, but I think we did a lot with that format, to be fair. Like... Well, yeah, ma massively. The amount of time, Dave, you and I speak, like this felt, you know, we were huge one-up fans and one-up yeah. yours, and it really did yeah, it's peak for like UK one-up, you know, all the personalities, all the great content, no matter what the subject was, it was great to watch. Yeah, we were, we were obsessed with video game. Well, this is it, because to I know that Tom will feel awkward with me saying that I was actually a massive fan of your video gamer. I'm a massive fan of the VG247 podcast which he knows because he's referenced a few times. Just have a go at me. Just mm. randomly have a go at me here and there. To be fair, and... just to clear it's called the Best Games Ever podcast. Is best, it? It's it, called the Best uh, Games Ever podcast. You can find it, it on all good uh, that, that, That's a bigger fuck up than me, Dave. You absolutely. Podcast uh, platforms. <laughs> Yeah, our research is very good. But the, yeah, the time, the, that time at Video Gamer, it, we, yeah, we used to send the, the videos to each other in the WhatsApp, watch them over and over again. I used yeah, to phone into the podcast. Did you know that? I used to phone into the podcast as the cab driver. Oh, really? Yeah. I think I might have realised. <laughs> I don't know. I remember the cab driver. I do remember. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, uh, <laughs> and uh, Chris Pratt um, had to get in touch with me because he thought I was being... <laughs> He edited something that I said about Shigeru Miyamoto out because he thought it was offensive. And I had to explain that I didn't even make that connection. And I apologize. I felt awful the next day. And he was fine with it. But I thought, looking back on it now, I think he was just a little bit oversensitive. <laughs> I think I just, I just called him a little fella and that was it. And it had nothing to do with anything. And, this was and back he messaged in the day me and went, I'm just a little bit worried with... about. <laughs> um, right. Is that is that our history pretty much summed up, Tom? Because we've is. never actually met at an event or no, anything. No, I, I wasn't sure if you ever came to the live show we did or not. But we did. Uh, no, I didn't come to the live show. Um, I don't know when that was, but um, uh, no, spite, I didn't come to. It? Yeah, I was. I was few. I was few about it. But yeah, we never crossed paths because we it just. I know you asked if we were in. Um, games media. Sean's been in it a little bit I here and there. Say, I've done, freelance I've done a few bits and... for VG I know, yeah, I know. I like, I know Sean's done stuff because I've read it and I sort of commissioned it, so I know that is a thing. <laughs> oh, did you rate it? Would well, be honest? What was, was any feedback? He did a, did a Sea of Thieves thing, right? Yeah, cool. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, very good. Yeah. Thank you. It's all the stuff that he did on here. You, re you rated yeah, yeah, that? Yeah, we go to it. <laughs> no, it's all the things I wish I could say on here, but everyone go, oh, shut up. No one cares. <laughs> Fucking Sea of Thieves again. Yeah. <laughs> Which is probably what Tom was shouting as he was reading your <laughs> article, to be fair. Um, but yeah, we, uh, when Joypop was taken off and at the start of um, TCGS, we, we, we got invited to a few of those, uh, those weird industry uh, events. Uh, the ones that stick out to me were the, the Left 4 Dead 2 one in London Bridge, where they had people dressed up as zombies, like serving little burgers. Uh, and stuff like that, but I never, I never saw you at any of those. Do you, I assume you. Yeah, avoided I went those. to loads. I went to loads, Did but you? it was probably bef maybe before. Like I, I'm a big fan of the mini burger, the mini fish and chips, <laughs> yeah, the, the mini Yorkshire pudding with a sausage stuck in it. I did go to an event once, and it was just a table, literally just a table, and they just dumped chips and squid on it. It's just a, a table. <laughs> it, it was just just a mass of chips okay. with battered squid. And I like this nice. I, I'm not happy for all free food, but mm. it just felt a little bit they, they under like they hadn't done it very well. Considering usually you get like the canapé type stuff, but yeah, well, yeah. towards well, that's, that's the a chef just going like, right, what what can I do that's easy and scales well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but towards the end, it all started changing, man. They 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 changed the mini burgers for sushi, and I'm not a fan of sushi, and I don't want to no. be standing around. Talking to people, whacking sushi in my mouth. Um, yeah, I wasn't. I didn't. I didn't like that so period. What? Uh, you heard. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, but yeah, I miss those days. But also, they were also really, um, really nerve wracking. Just meeting people that, that and, and just feeling completely out of place because when you're in the industry or whatever, um, you obviously know people and you feel like you've been invited on credit. 
but but when when you're someone that does a shitty little bedroom podcast and you're standing in the middle of all these people just thinking oh i could get could get another free drink here so if i just stand there maybe i could get another you just you do have that imposter syndrome and you just assume that everyone's looking at you going the fuck is that get him out of here <laughs> um which you know they probably were i think that sums up our history so yeah. are we ready to talk about video <clears throat> games? Well, for, have we covered for, the feeling uh, sad section? I know, I was about to say, yeah, like, we, oh, what that, was that isn't what this was about, really. What I was going to talk, because I, I wasn't sure about like the uh, the audience profile of this podcast. I assume it's old, right? Yep. Yeah. No, yeah. we're hitting all the gens, <laughs> baby. I assume it's old. And I, I, I work with young people, so my podcast at the moment is... It's quite young. It's quite funky, right? So I can't talk about old. Funky. Sorry, sorry. You said funky. Funky, yeah. Okay. Funky. Is that a word they they use? <laughs> yeah, all the time. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Gen Z are loving that. All the time. So I thought I'd bring up some old chat that will go down well with this audience, right? Mm-hmm. Let's oh, do yeah. it. And like, I don't know if it's just me, right? But a few weeks ago, I've got like a collection of. It's, it's not like a shelf of good stuff. It's just tap that's in the office room here, and I walked into the office. And I just saw on it, there's a there's a Mega Drive copy of Sonic the Hedgehog, right? In box, it's not mint or anything, it's just an old copy of Sonic the Hedgehog and the Mega Drive. I looked at it, and I just suddenly felt really sad. <laughs> yeah? And then, what? ever since, every, every time I look at, like, old games, like that, that era, like Mega Drive, early PlayStation, I'm like, I'm quite sad about this. And I don't know, I just wondered, as this is a group of old people... Like if other people feel this, because I've, I've come to realise it's probably like a a longing for those days. Because I don't like old yeah. games very much. I think back and I think most of these games were shit. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, retro sucks. But I like I played another sideways scrolling shooter themed after a film or whatever. Excellent. But um, <laughs> I just I I think I just look back and think I wish I was like ten again, going to game stores for like two hours and choosing my games based on how good they looked in the three pictures on the back. Yes. And what I read in Me Machines, right? So uh, I think it's just a kind of longing sadness that I've developed. And every time I walk into the office now, I see my copy of Sonic the Hedgehog and I just start the day on like a real sad note. I just wondered if that was a shared experience. Well, I mean, mean, there is an important question. I don't know if I should ask. How old are you, Tom? I'm 41. Okay, right, you're writing that. Yeah, I mean, we're all around that. And um, it is something we've been talking about recently, that sort of era of gaming. I think it is genuinely now with it starting to feel like, no, that is completely gone now. Like, that's completely alien. The idea of going to buy a magazine and just just looking at the fucking screenshots, right, to try and see as take in as much as you possibly could. And, I mean, that, that era lasted for a long time. I mean... Even when times were, the last time I remember buying a magazine and feeling sick of, of excitement about opening it was a pre, reading a preview about Time Splitters Two, and that's not that you know long ago, is it? I bet it fucking is. <laughs> I bet it scares me if I find out when Time Splitters Two come out. Yeah, that'll well, be I think it's like five years. Twenty years, man. Mm, it's about twenty, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. No, not <laughs> twenty. Yeah. Two thousand and two. It's twenty-two years ago. <laughs> oh, for fucking. Fuck, <laughs> For fuck's sake. But it's everything. It's everything about that fucking era, man. Like the physical media going into shops, right? That's one thing. The magazines, the demo units. Mm -hmm. Do you remember seeing a PlayStation demo unit for the first time and everyone was crowding around it Mm complaining Destruction Derby? It just... Yeah, I know what you're saying. I still have that feeling, though, of looking at a game. Like we were in CEX today with the boys. And they were pointing at all the old consoles and all the all the games, and I still like it. Still brings a smile to my face. So I haven't got to the point where it makes me sad, but it is something we've spoken about for the past few, um, the, the the past few weeks. That that is never coming back. Like the demo discs, they're never coming back. The the yeah the the going because into a shop like, not knowing what you're buying. <laughs> Do you think gone. that stuff is more painful now because it's becoming increasingly? clear that like maybe the internet wasn't such a good idea (laughs) Mm. uh there's that and also the fact that i think um it's more painful now because i don't know it it just feels like we're in that cycle of old Mm. people get old and then moan about what the new thing is 
and don't quite understand it and wish it was all old again. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And I think it's the realisation now that we're heading into our 40s and it's all, it's yeah. all starting to crumble. We were talking a few uh, weeks ago about doing them. I don't know if you do this, Tom, the maths where you're like, right, where was I when my parents were 40 and what was I thinking mm. of them at that time? Mm-hmm. And now I'm there. What does that mean for me, like ne- my kids? And how much do they hate me now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's um, weird, isn't it? Getting old is weird. Did anyone else do the thing when they were kids? This may have just been me from like a working class background. We used to buy games from Dixon's. Mm-hmm. Remember Dixon's, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Another a retro classic. And my mum insisted that the person in Dixon's would get the game out and let me and my brother play it in Dixon's <laughs> <laughs> before we would buy it. Well, try every before sing- you buy. every yeah. single That's time, absolutely amazing. she would like they're not you're not they're not buying this until you've let them play it. And we so were you like, like prove a, that this thing like works. it's like it's <laughs> a like, pirate VHS in it's Spain. Like, it's like we <laughs> had put to it play in it there for a bit and then go. It's like tasting wine. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's a good bit of wine that. And, yeah, I, and then you take that. it home. Yeah, you also spat on the floor of Dixon's. So exactly the same. No, we never had that. But I remember. I said. I mean, I've said this tons of times. I remember having, um, was it N64 magazine gave away a tray uh, with six slots in it where you could put six N64 games in. And I remember never filling it. <laughs> like, I would always have to trade like three of them in to get one back, which then put me on two N64 games. Mm. And you'd sit there and go, what the fuck? Like, how can I not get six games? Like, this is insane. Yeah, they never used to go into shops and buy us games other than um, when my dad... My dad used to love, like, subscription shit when I was a kid. So, like, he... Uh, when we had Atari ST, he had a subscription um, to some... You know, you pay monthly and they'll send you random games. And that's how we got Graham Soonis's Vector Soccer, which is probably the worst football game <laughs> ever made. I've mentioned it a few times, but the, the sound effect when you score and it goes, it's a goal... Yay. And then the ball sort of like <laughs> magically goes to the centre again. Um, I don't know if Graham Soonis ever played it, but if he did, I can't imagine he was too impressed. Um, but it, it also, special special reserve? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember special yeah, reserve? Yeah, like at the back, yeah. Yeah, like the back of magazines, like the yeah. red logo. Where, yeah. oh. I explained yeah. that to my son the other day, and that you had to, a time in the past, you I bought things by sending a little leaflet in the post. <laughs> and he was like, what? He's like, I've explained to him. I've explained to him many things, like how Netflix didn't exist and <laughs> black and white TVs. But this was the real thing. It's like you had to send a little leaflet in by post. I remember I filled one out for a, for a Saturn, but I never sent it. That changed history. That did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But maybe that was it. There was a millions of those slips that were never sent, and it mm. would have been the most successful console of all time if people yeah. just used. The, I mean, the, the fun office. trivia that's always good to mention when Special Reserve comes up is that Charlie Brooker used to do their adverts, used to do the cartoons for their ads. Did he really? Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, I remember, because they had physical shops, I remember my dad driving me down to Egham, like making him drive to Egham, <laughs> which was this little shop, Special Reserve, to buy GTA 2. And I was, I, I just remember, <laughs> like, like honestly... Nearly... Okay. Yeah, yeah well, GTA been, 2 yeah. was 90s? It must have been 90s. I think it was early noughties, but yeah. Close no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Right. We're, God. Yeah. I'm <laughs> no, so sorry no, you're right. if you're, you're under 40 years old. It would have been well. 98, 99. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, shit. September. Yeah, Just 99. Just the Y2K bug. Just <laughs> for the Y2K bug. Uh, yeah, that's right. Thank God that didn't ruin uh, GTA because that would have been devastating. Um, I don't know. I think it is genuinely a thing as you're heading towards this middle age stuff where you look back on that shit. Uh, how good it was when when you were growing up around video games just as they were breaking like the other thing that really sticks in my mind is if you ever see if you ever saw anyone playing a game like if it, on, on eastenders or something if they had a controller in their hand you were like oh, video games yeah. have made it <laughs> look it's on telly look look <laughs> <laughs> or someone in the movie is like he's playing Mario holding a PlayStation controller, yeah, or vice versa. Yeah, you know. Or straight away oh, yeah, be on. like, that's not a real game. Yeah, there's been Nintendo. Be like, How do you know? And it's like because I would know if it was real. Yeah, I'm a fucking nerd, mom. <laughs> <laughs> when was the when was the first time that you went? No, this is my thing, Tom. What what was the, what was the console that went? Uh, no, actually, I know gaming's it now. Um, 
I don't know exactly. I mean, my first console was a Master System because my mum said, right, you can. Well, my first, I had like a Master C64. System 2 or Master I had an Amstrad. I had, an Amstrad I had a green screen Amstrad first. They made a C64. My first console was a Master System 2 mm-hmm. with built in Alex Kid. Yeah, boy. Yep. Um, Cannon but, fodder on that bad boy. Yeah, and that was the but one. I can't afford a Mega Drive. Yeah, it was Mega Drive, wasn't it? Well, oh, was it Mega Drive? Master System oh. probably had everything. It was just like the shitter version. But I remember my <laughs> mum said to me and my brother, like, you can get a Master System and like eight games. You can get a Mega Drive with one game. We were like, let's get the Master System and get more games, right? I remember it felt like a good idea. We did sell it to a boy at our school um, a year later, I think. But this is going to sound, this isn't meant to be funny, right? It might come All across right. funny. <laughs> Sold it to him, got the cash, bought a Mega Drive, and then we found out later that he had epilepsy and could never play the Master System. No, oh, fuck. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. So it's a sad story, really. But yeah, I mean, sad. no return. Put out so sad <laughs> Did you say? Have you got a receipt, mate? Mm. <laughs> Did you not? Um, so, but, but for me, it was. So for me, it was like yeah, I had the Ataris and you know all that sort of stuff. Um, but again, like seven years after they come out, because my dad would wait. It would always, always be like a gen or two behind because he couldn't afford the consoles when they come out, well, which is mad looking back at it now because they were selling for like 70 quid or something stupid. Um, but then, yeah, so it was like uh, Mega Drive and SNES and um, and all that sort of stuff. But then it felt like I just sort of drifted away. And then the first time I played Mario 64 on the N64, Oh, honestly, that was it. That was like, right, okay. No, I don't care about anything else mm. now. Music is crap and films are overrated. <laughs> I just yeah. want to play Mario 64. It was a big deal. I remember seeing the first pictures in like CBG. I think it was. I saw Mario 64 for the first time. And I was like, this can't be real. This can't what was your be a f- thing. What was your first job in the industry? My first job was, well, video game was my first job in that I just made a job for myself and said, I'm doing this. Really? But I did... Um, I, I was on a fan site called Mad Gamers, which was from that. that was from Edge on Nine Forum. Really? And then they, there were some people on there who were like, "Do you want to write for a fan site called Mad Gamers?" And I was on it. Kez McDonald was on it. Oh, nice! Ow. Wow, Mad Gamers. Yeah. But this, this is what makes me laugh, like because I years ago you, I've mentioned this before on the show, but I used to write for a website called Dark Zero, which I, mean, I think it's still going. But like, actually, there's shitloads of people who went through that site that are now like doing really well in the games industry in various different places um and yeah it's funny isn't it because at the time you're just like oh we're well, just all sort of fucking around like doing like some stupid hobby project and then 10 years later i mean obviously mm. i'm not in that that circle yeah i was about to say it's but... ne- that's never really happened with us is it <laughs> our shitty little hobby never become anything really did it um <laughs> but, but we're still bloody trying yeah. eight years in we're still giving it a fucking good go um yeah, shit. So, how long was video? Were you at video game before then? How from it, it was starting like, to started at uni it? and then about I don't know, thirteen, fourteen years or something. Wow, that's incredible, isn't it? Um, I, yeah, I can't remember how I found your shot. I can't remember. I assume I it was Rollmark. I assume we found it. From it Rollmark. must have been Rollmark. Yeah, yeah. Funny, isn't it? I eh? looking back on things. <laughs> we have not, you know, getting older than that. Um, right, should we get to feedback on last yeah, week's show? We absolutely should. <laughs> 20, uh, 30 minutes in. I said to Tom, <laughs> Tom said I might need to um, look after my kid uh, uh, from about 11. And I said, well, yeah, we've been we've been doing short shows recently. We're half an hour in, we're doing <laughs> feedback to last week's show. So let's, uh, let's breeze through these, Matt Murray. Yeah. Uh, Joe Push Button, dear TCGS, I've compiled a list of games that Sean is allowed to like. Oh, FIFA 97, <laughs> FIFA 98. FIFA 2003, James Bond 007 on the Game Boy, and Hugo 2. Please do not veer from this list, or we all know he is not a true gamer. Keep up the good work from Push Button Joe. Uh, I've also got another one actually here from Pete. Definitely not John Denton, although he does give pretty good game recommendations. Pot. That's Pete Pot for you. Sean, you are allowed to play anything that's not a deck builder, roguelike, roguelite, narrative experience, 4X strategy, pixel graphics, anime art style, RNG, puzzle-based, text-based, point-and-click, FMV, cozy, hex grid, farm simulator, resource manager, rhythm, emotional, or thought-provoking. What does that leave? Call of Duty. Call of Duty. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) And Hugo 2. 
<laughs> and James Bond number seven pulled on Game Boy. Um, we should explain for Tom's benefit. I someone wrote in last week saying, uh, "Why do I, I as in me, only play shit games?" <laughs> um, so I asked them to send in a list of what I'm allowed to like, and there, there it was, the list of things I'm not allowed to like, apparently. Right. Um, okay. okay, well, we'll see, see what we can do. I actually think today, uh, this week's game does actually fit the bill, to be fair. Really? Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I think we're good. What, is it Hugo 2? <laughs> yeah, it is Hugo 2. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. Okay, Gary Franklin, snide Lego chat, a new low, James would never <laughs> allow it. Uh, James would allow it. He's the dodgiest amongst us. Yeah, also, yeah, yeah. by that time, um, he's usually asleep, so he, but he wouldn't even know it's happening. Frankly. I found that bit quite interesting, the Lego oh, yeah. chat. Yeah. I was messaging well, Are you Dave. undercover police? I was, I was on messaging Dave on Twitter. I was like, what's this Lego stuff about? Shit. It's like so a little you block. Do you like Sorry, this will be rubbish. Well, he sent me a load of links. I've seen oh. their affiliate tagged and stuff, so he's going to get some... <laughs> <laughs> some bags of Lego, like this. Have you um, started any of yours yet? Sure. Well, I'm going to stream them, aren't I? Oh, that's right. Can't yeah, claim yeah, them yeah. as a business expense otherwise, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, are you allowed to... Illegal goods as uh, business <laughs> expenses. Not illegal that goods. <laughs> We've been <laughs> over this. <laughs> I know. I just love tweaking. I just love that little tweak there. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Snide Lego. That's where it's at. We also, um, unfortunately... Um, had uh, some correspondence last week about how you um how you ex- how you Wipe do a number two yeah, yeah. and oh, how, uh, we have some feedback yeah. on that mm-hmm. gary uh franklin uh no we've done that cammy t i'm a stander and i've always been a stander i will never stop standing and my ass is always clean grow up <laughs> um and we'll carry on this is from bad boy gary deuce and the uk's number one gary apparently dear tcs i've been silent on the sidelines for several weeks recently but the last <laughs> six questions se- section has compelled me to write in my name is Gary Dutton, and I'm a stand-up wiper. The initial wipe is seated, but subsequent <laughs> ones are standing. What? Not bolt upright, like a beefy to you understand. We're talking like a 45-degree bend for maximum purchase and access. Otherwise, how are you ensuring you're clean down there? Well, that is, that, Gary's just making the point that we were. That, yeah, the, the whole, we're saying you can't, you can't just stand all the way up. Why would you do one sitting down and then one standing up? What's that? Well, yeah, it's almost as if he realises you do actually need to do it sitting down, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's like the first one's a fuck I'm up every time. I'm also a bit disturbed that this is two of my close friends have written in <laughs> support and standing. With, as far as I'm aware, I don't think they've discussed this amongst themselves. Well, there's a whole separate group um, chat, Sean. Clearly, that I'm not in. Dedicated to <laughs> yeah. wiping bot bot. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Gary continues. Also, I'm interviewing uh, venerated notable journalist Simon Parkin this week for the uh, Making Games is Fun podcast. So, shall oh, I ask him if he stands up to wipe? That's 40 quid, Gary. That's yeah. 40 quid. For the shall I, I ask mean, him he already owes us he... money for us sourcing his guest, doesn't he? <laughs> Fuck it, yeah, hell. Jesus. I mean, like, I'm fairly sure, Tom, you'll be on Gary's podcast next week. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, you're, you're gonna yeah but then we've never had Do you think Simon Parkin to be up for this. Absolutely no. Uh, one. Absolutely no, no. <laughs> no, he won't. He won't. Uh, anyway, so shall I ask him if he stands up to wipe, or should I just stick to discussing his upcoming book, yours, no. Life and Hell, uh, Life and Death, even Gary? Ask him Dutton, if he had, Gary he'd Dutton. run out of toilet paper and all he had was a copy of his new book. Would he wipe his ass with it? Yes. And and then you could do the follow up question because there's yeah. the relevant link, and just say, yeah. and if you would do it, standing yeah. up or sitting down. Yeah, yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. So then that's, that's both uh, a plug and a wipe. So got, how many pages? Is it? <laughs> Because if it's not many pages, you just swipe it like a credit card, wouldn't you? Oh, it's going to be loads of pages, page, is it? It's Simon Parkin. <laughs> how, it's thin, be... how thin is that book that you can swipe <laughs> in your ass like a credit card, Sean? I'm saying if it's not, maybe it's A4. It gives you loads of room for the Oh, yeah, words. you know, that famous book size, A4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite size Parkin's of like, Yeah, I've got books. this new book out. It's an A4 paperback. Uh, <laughs> and it's so thin. It's like a credit card. Yeah, yeah. You can really oh, spot the guys that don't read regularly, can't you? Know? <laughs> It's you can sniff them out no, quite easily. I'm an audio book man. <laughs> Especially with smelly bot bots. Um, the insufferable bore. Hi, lads. Small point about performance that Sean mentioned. Whether something can be 30 frames on the Series S, why can't it be 60 on the X? I'm not a technical sort. Well, I'll stop you there. 
Unsufferable. We'll, we'll, we'll move on. No, we'll, we'll carry on. <laughs> I'm not technical sort, so this is coming from a place of only marginally less ignorance, but it depends on where the performance bottleneck lies. In essence, a game might be struggling to hit frame rate because of graphics, the graphics GPU limited, or because of the engine simulation stuff, CPU limited. If it's graphics slash CPU, then there's loads of dials to move. You can load a resolution, turn off ray tracing, etc., and get a performance bump. See Spider-Man 2. CPU, however, is more complicated, so if the bottleneck is there, there's less you can do. Hope just helps, and if someone actually knows computers and says it's all bollocks, then fair enough. I'm not Digital Foundry. I'm some blowjob with a sociology degree. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you all from Dave. Maybe that's the episode I was in title. two minds about including this, because yeah. I know some people find it a bit dry, but then I was at the end, I was like, I've never heard someone describe themselves as a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> no. Derogatory way. Can we call the episode Blowjob with a Sociology Degree? Or is that... Probably not. Um, Probably not. Would, that, would, would Ian like Tunes that. be livid? Um, but yeah, no, it, it's a good point because I've heard this before when the games have famously, like, even like the PC versions, like, oh, no one can get it to run properly. And it's because most PCs, <coughs> people just go, oh, well, I'll just buy a shit computer and then strap a 900 quid graphics card to it and I'll be fine. Which for a lot yeah. of games does actually do the job, but sometimes not. I remember when Matt said he was going to do that and then snapped all the pins as he was installing it. Like, so slapping was, it in is not the greatest time. description. <laughs> I'm, that's, that's the same computer. Oh, no, no, I did buy another. No, I did buy another one. Yeah, but basically, <laughs> the PC is still fucked. Like, my motherboard can't even put the RAM in the right slots because of that. This is a very odd podcast, isn't it? It is, isn't it? I mean, it's yeah, like we, uh... we've gone from R swiping and then we had that very long, quite boring... <laughs> Bit about the, the frame rate on Xbox Three Six Xbox games, maybe. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, last yeah. week I was listening to last week's show, and I think it was about an hour of Dave talking about the price of the new Xbox model. <laughs> and I was like, "How long can we talk about this?" <laughs> yeah, but that's you, if you didn't listen the week before. There was another two hours on that exact subject. That was just the ice, tip of the iceberg, mate. Don't worry about that. Yeah, welcome to the computer game show. It's what we're like over here. We're mad. We're, we we're, are, you know, I mean, we're, we're, we're we, the real we mad are, gamers, mate. We're, we're mad gamers in a way, yeah. We're not the original mad gamers, obviously. But, you know, <laughs> no. Well, if you don't know much about our show, Tom, this next email, email what are even weirder? <laughs> Luke Summerhays, on the tattoo chat, better than an Astrobot tattoo, surely matched you get the, co- the cook from Red Dead with his name in big letters. I struggle to imagine a tattoo that would get a rise out of James. Maybe I love Thatcher. Oh, that is a good shout, actually. So, next week, James is back, and we're going to have the discussion. Um, Tom, I don't know if you heard this on last week's show. I don't know if we mentioned it. There is a bet between two members of the show, James, who's not here, and Matt. Um, Hello. And it's it's down to, you know, uh, the new Star Wars game, Ubisoft game? What's it called? Outlaws. Star Wars Outlaws, mm-hmm. yeah. Get it, right. Matt has bet James that Star Wars Outlaws will have a bigger Metacritic score than Star Wars Jedi Survivors. Right. Or Survivor or whatever. What, what is the Metacritic that's got at the moment? 85. 85. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, for those listening to the podcast, Tom it's just stifled a laugh there. Um, <laughs> it just caught it. Um, and basically the loser has to get a tattoo of the other one's choosing. And I don't know how we got here. I was chatting to Ian about this last night, and he said, I don't know how to feel about this bet. It doesn't seem right. And I went, I know, but I don't even really know how we got to this I'll point. I'll tell you how we got here, because, well, uh, it wasn't my idea for the tattoo. I think that was James's idea. But it's James's, yeah. The trouble was that on that Monday, I think I was feeling, you know, quite happy, confident, content, you know, click, yeah, clicking. It's, I was having a great day. You're clicking, man. It, it, it was mentioned, and I thought, fuck it, let's just, let's just say yes, and now we're here. And then, yeah, basically, I have to get real... T- so one of us have to get real tattoo designed and chosen by the pre- the other one. Um, I'm I'm quite confident, actually, Tom, I'll be honest. Uh, you, you, you're on, so you've got to get 85... Does 85 count? Does it have to be 80, 86? If it's 85, then the bet's off. Mm-hmm. So if, if Star Wars uh, Outlaws gets an 85, then the bet's off. But if it gets an 86... Yeah. Then James gets a tattoo, but if he gets an 84, then Matt gets one. If you, well, if what you do you need, think? If you need like to go one way or the other, just message me. And... <gasps> See, this is... Yes. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm going to need a 10 was... from you, Tom. I'm going to need 10. <laughs> this, just to be clear, officially this is not happening. But as a, a funny <laughs> bit on this podcast, yeah. yes, we'll change it to be uh, however you want it to go. But yeah, I yeah. think it's going to be quite tight, that one, I reckon. It could, it could be... 
a high 80s, but I think it could be a low. I think it might be like an 82. Uh, that's not enough for me, Tom. I need more than that. <laughs> Gonna need more than 82. Yeah. I think Tom literally has the power. I mean, you wouldn't. That's true. Yeah, you've made that point. Like we it. need to make that no, point no, very yeah. clear. Yeah, this wouldn't. is a joke. This is a bit. But you literally have the power <laughs> to <laughs> swerve this. This is insane. Especially as editor um, in chief. <laughs> Whatever you want, for, you? For, for, former Matt, former. I mean, um, officially, okay. I can well, I can access the, the 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 CMS of all of our websites. So, so what you're saying is, if it, I wanted to go, out, if, I, if I was like, go, if I wanted to go out with a bang at some, you work for Fujitsu. <laughs> Where's this come from? You can I access can, what the the, like the the man the bit you you know website. I, I explain websites. I know websites. Right? Yeah, websites. Yeah. You have to have a thing on the internet to get content onto them. That's called a CMS, right. like content management can I, can I system. Say, the rest right? of us do know this, Tom. It's just Davis. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I fucking don't know this. What, what's, it's like you know, right, like you fill in forms. If you're like, yeah. like you go to like a doctor's, you like fill in this form. Yeah, yeah, like that, but on an internet. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want that sort of information about my body out there on the internet, though. So I'll, I'll forget websites. They're not not for me. Not for me. Is that it for the feedback? this week Matt. that's it yeah if you want to leave more feedback go to tcgs.co slash dear tcgs right then let's get some news sean what have you got for us what's happened in the world of video games this week did anyone watch the triple i showcase <laughs> no Not live. what the fuck is the triple <laughs> what's the triple i since. Um, so this is basically a bunch of indie developers have got together and have started doing their own, um, yeah, sort of direct style uh, showcase, which they've called the Triple I, which I hope is tongue in cheek because I feel a bit weird about it. Feels oh, because like... trip. Oh, I see. Yeah, cause, like, feels AAA. a bit. This feels a bit ooya to me. A bit ooya. Is that bad? Yeah. Well, just, just, you know, we remember when they went to E3 and stood outside and did their own thing in the car park and got ushered away. That's like, what developers like... do. Everyone thinks it's cool now. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my mistake. Um, so yeah, it was basically it was a, a just a very good um, indie showcase. Um, uh, so in among the stuff they showed off, so Slay the Spire two was announced. I think was just, that known or was that a full? I'm not sure. Fully new. I can't remember. I think it was sort of assumed they were, um, but apparently it's it's been massively delayed because they they were making it in Unity, and after all, like everything kicked off, they've just gone nah, scrap it, start again. Um, which I guess they've, they've got the resources to do that because Slay the Spy is huge. Um, uh, at the very end, um, there was a very cool reveal of uh, the rogue Prince of Persia. Has any, have any of you seen this? Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I watched the trailer. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's like an anime-style trailer, but um, I went through and I think I think, I think yeah, there's a preview on, on your gamer and uh, saying okay, it's cool. very, very, very... Uh, is it Dead Cells? Yeah, very Dead Cells to the point where it's, like, yeah, it's, it's hard to know the... where Dead Cells ends and where this game be- you know begins. Yeah. But having said that, well, yeah, even with that, the... it sounds like it's a very, very good game. Yeah, it's by one of the developers uh, behind Dead Cells, and it's yeah, it's it's a like roguelite Prince of Persia where you are just sort of endlessly running through like randomly generated environments and doing parkour stuff and slashing baddies, and it looks really good. Um, like really pleasant, pleasantly surprised by this. Um, sure. Other than that, um, there was what else was there? Thirty Three Immortals. I think we've seen this before. Um, so this is from Thunder Lotus, who did Spirit Pharaoh, which I had very mixed feelings on. But this is the um, the co-op one where you just randomly put in a group of thirty three people, um, and then and like school. Want, um, and oh, then, that's right. Yeah, I and, yeah, and yeah. Think, I just, I, oh yeah, I just think it'd be really cool to see how that plays out because obviously you're going to get whittled down as you go and i don't know i think that's think it's potentially really interesting i assume if you finish the game you automatically best mates with everyone you get to the end yeah, you have to meet up in a village hall yes. yeah i think mean, no what it does is it's got a great inter- integration with whatsapp and it automatically creates a group straight after the <laughs> yeah, game yeah that you can't get out of. yeah you, you can you have say for an, an, basically an entire year 12 months but and you got me a <laughs> once a month but i think it sounds great actually for me yeah um there was a trailer so Vampire Survivors is oh, getting yeah. a Contra DLC pack, which I've not seen anyone else. But I mean, maybe this is so obvious no one's felt the need to point it out. But obviously, Contra is a Konami property, as is Castlevania. And I just, I, 
I just love the idea of Vampire Survivors devs being like on the phone to Konami, like, yeah, yeah, so you want to do like a crossover, and they're like, oh yeah, you want to do, you want to do Castlevania? No, 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 no. <laughs> you want to do Country? You want the guys with the guns and you know the sci-fi one? Um, yeah, very amused by this. Um, it's um, that that um, I can't. My mate can't stop talking about Brotato, which I think is another oh, yeah, one yeah, of these. Like, yeah, it's a similar yeah, game. It's the right. same thing, right? Yeah. So it's uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I'm assuming Vampire Survivors is still the main one of those. Yeah, yeah. I've not liked yeah. one like that. That's the best one for me. By it's long really way. good, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't know if I go back to it though. I got to the point where it felt like I, it come to a natural end and then stopped. There's loads of extra shit in it. No. If yeah. you're bothered. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Name one, Sean. Yeah, name one D extra shit. D name one bit of shit. DLC packs that I've not played yet. Too vague. Um, <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> um, there was a bit more footage of Hyperlight Breaker. Um, which is yeah, still previews a, haven't been great, have they? No. Um, and I'm still... Yeah, it's a weird one, because obviously I adored Hyperlight Drifter. Um, enjoyed what I played of... Um, shit. Shit, what's it called? There's a lot what? of shit about on this pod. This, the second one. Oh, oh my god, I've completely forgotten what it was called. That's embarrassing. Sonic 2. Um, yeah, Sonic 2. Um, and uh, yeah, the, and Hyper Light Breaker is very different from Drifter. And it's hard to tell from Solar Ash in the chat. Thank you, Phil. Um, yeah, Hyper Light Breaker is very different. It's, it's like going to be like a co op 3D randomly generated um, brawler. And yeah, I don't know. I don't mm. know. It's hard to tell. As you say, uh, previews haven't been like stellar, um, but I've got faith. Yeah, I'm cool. Uh, I um, think. I mean, uh, what the car? I mean, I, I'm. Not it wasn't for... very good. Yeah, oh, yeah, I played that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't rate it that much. I thought what the bat, thing. what the golf, for but way better. There's this weird trend of games coming out for other consoles. And people acting like they're new when they've been on Apple Arcade for about three years. Well, that was a dig. That was a dig at Matt Murray. No, no, it wasn't a dig at that Matt. That was a yeah, fucking sure, dig at Matt Murray. Jesus. Like, oh, a... <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, know but there's a trend of people wearing hats underneath <laughs> headphones, and it makes me fucking sick. Sean, you absolute. <laughs> <fucking freezer. laughs> no, I had this with a friend the other day. And the friend was like, "Oh, there's a new Reigns game coming out. It actually, looks pretty cool." Um, and uh, what? Go on. <laughs> Matt just dropped the C bomb and forgot to beat that bit oh, again. <laughs> He's the worst person on that button. <laughs> so yeah, a friend of mine was like, oh, there's a new range game. It looks really good. And I was like, yeah, no, it's it's out for like four years and I didn't All like right, it. we get it. So, <laughs> yeah, what what, someone what, else. He's dead. What the, who I love the very car? much. So what the car fun. though? I was a bit disappointed. Did you play it, Sean? I played a bit of it. I mean, I yes. was screaming laughing at it, but I was... Oh, is he? You know, he was four at the time, so... <laughs> yeah, it's no, it's no what the golf. It's no what the golf. Um, no. And I noticed that Chia is coming Yeah, I was about to say, this is arguably this is the biggest, again, this is the biggest bef announcement of the whole <laughs> show. It's not, Maybe it's year. not a good game. It's great how, I've... like, you know, the, there are some games, you know the announcement is going to be uh, it's coming to Switch because they're showing footage that's clearly in 480p and... <laughs> yeah, I know, and it looks like, well, so bad. There's only one bad. reason you do yeah. this. Yeah, um, it didn't look great but, in, you know... On a good console. So, yeah, I mean, um, the, the the BAFTA winning cheer. Uh, great game. I think more people should play it. Well done. Well, should we talk about the BAFTAs? I was going to say, speaking story. of... Are we weird, talking about it? the BAFTAs? I mean, yeah, that's next. That's how after the how they treat Dave. after how <laughs> they treated us. We're part of the conversation, David. <laughs> like, have honestly. we talked about that on the show? No, we, we have. We, we have mentioned it. Shall we, should we do a public? Should we get into it? Because it's no. not. It's quite funny. What Matt's scared because he thinks this shuts us out from BAFTA, but I don't, I don't think we know. were ever... I think it was a, a genuine I was misunderstanding. I this close to winning a BAFTA, and I don't really <laughs> want it to ruin my chances. You, well, to, to, to stop, Tommy, you're not on the judges panel or anything, are you? No, I was quite miffed. No one's ever asked me. Really? Well, we got asked uh, <laughs> last year, got um, and it turns out <laughs> we got this right. Okay, let me oh, just no, explain. We, we got... We got this email from the PR company to look after BAFTA saying, hello, yeah, TCGS, we love the show. We love your passion for games, you know, all this sort of stuff. And said, we'd and, love and to you be to clear, be part. We can usually tell them from a mile off if this stuff is totally copied and pasted. Like, no, they've never yes, watched this. Yes, yes, yes. This and genuinely it, seemed 
we, 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 we yeah, the email slagged <laughs> off James. It was legit. <laughs> um, and they, they said, um, we'd love you to be part of the BAFTA conversation this year. Um, if you're interested, let us know and we'll, give, we'll you know come back with more information. So I sort of went, fucking hell, look at this. Look, what's going on here? Look at us. Like, like, yeah, we I'm the king of the like, castle. Specific I'm the king of dreams about what this meant but obviously part of us was like oh shit like do they want us as judges or something or i don't yeah. know like what i don't know a limo that's what email's like bang stretch hummer go so I can't, what did and we then, reply with i can't remember we just said yeah we're very interested you know yeah, thanks for yeah. getting in touch tell us more blah, blah, blah. we'd love to help yeah, tell us more. what we can do yeah and then we're like we'll tell you more later I mean, yeah, what bit, the fuck's going vague. on here? <laughs> You've emailed us. <laughs> and then they finally emailed us and just went, we just want you to read this press release on your podcast. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, we're announcing we this is when the uh, nominations are announced. Can you yeah. mention it on your show, please? And we like, just oh. went, uh, nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Like, no, we're not going to do that. Like, yeah. it's so, it was so <laughs> weird that it kind of really, like it was amazing seeing... Um, you know, to more past guests, mm. to more um, Ellie and um, I know on on uh, like mm. giving out awards and shit. It was amazing, yeah, um, and we, we you know we love them and uh, you know it was great to see them there. But there was part of me just going, oh yeah, that was fucking weird when they emailed us and part of the conversation and then said, can you read our press release? <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> that was fucking weird, wasn't it? <laughs> We just weren't part of the conversation because we didn't need that question. <laughs> well, we're definitely not part of the conversation anymore, are we? If Beth ever hear this, they won't. But if they ever hear this, that's it. That's ties cut, right? Should we talk about what I, what I proposed that. for the BAFTAs next year? What was yeah, what proposed <laughs> Well, actually, no, it's such a good this. idea. We should probably save that. So but no, what is it? Uh, so I said in the WhatsApp group, like, next year, should we all go to the BAFTAs, but obviously we can't actually get in because we're not invited. <laughs> But we'll all dress up to the nines and then just hang yeah. out just outside the bit and then just be like, hey, I know, how's it going? <laughs> hey, Ellie's what, like, just just call, call the people we know and just try and get an interview out of them. And get then... an interview and then follow, try and follow him <laughs> like really close by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To try and tailgate. Like, once it all starts, we can just, just continue hanging around outside where there's nothing happening. And just being like, oh, what do, you, what do you think they're all doing in there now? Do you reckon it's nice? Do you reckon it's... Yeah, well, I wonder what food's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, little badge, is... little yeah, badge that says, I'm part of the conversation. <laughs> we, we, we can have microphones uh, which connect to nothing in our bag yeah. with, uh, <laughs> with, with, with an IGN kind of thing on the mic and say, hey. Yeah, it'd be great. Be Something good. we legitimately did once. Yeah. Um, we can use that and I think we said we were from IGN, didn't we, Dave? <laughs> we did, Matt. We did say we were from IGN. In the IGN. Q3GX uh, yeah. 2008. <laughs> Have you ever been, Tom? Have you ever been to the, to the gaming BAFTAs? BAFTAs? No. It's going to sound a bit bad considering what my job is and stuff, but I don't really... I don't get excited about the BAFTAs or any awards, really. Mm. I never really like... We had like game the Games Media Awards and stuff years ago, and I was like, yeah. It was nice to win something now and again. But <laughs> I remember you Gav, used to, Gav you used to do your own talking about... Sorry. So I remember Gav Murphy talking about the yeah, like Games Media Awards, and he's like... Like it means more to my nan than it does to like anyone. <laughs> like everyone's oh, well, in the, the industry is a bit like, yeah, it's just a bit of fun, I suppose. What did his nan win? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, he used to do that show with her, didn't he? That's good. Good point. Oh shit! Yeah, we we only got invited to that when it was what was it called after the GMA? Games Media Britlist. Games Media oh. Britlist. And we turned up in suits for nothing, only for the BBC <laughs> to win it. Yeah, I was the little no, no, the, the thought, BB oh, fucking Oh come C. on, the fucking BBC. Yeah. Have you heard our shit? <laughs> it's top. It's top. I can't believe quality. the BBC beat us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, okay. Yeah, anyway, the times. actual BAFTAs. Uh, let's let's hear the conversation. Let's be yeah, part let's of the conversation. Part, part of the Hashtag ad. Be part of the conversation. Um, I think it, it was just nice, like especially some of the criticisms we've seen levied at, uh, levied, leveled at, um, like uh, fucking Keeley's show, um, and then this was just pure like, yeah, it's just devs coming up on stage and being celebrated, and there's like there was an acknowledgement um, from the hosts about you know current shitty situation with layoffs, etc. Um, yeah, it was just quite classy what I what I've seen of it. Um, and yeah, and and Chia got a got a BAFTA, Dave. Game yeah. beyond entertainment. Great game. 
I don't know what you want me to say. Like, no, oh, no, no it is a good game, actually. Reassess your thoughts it's on the game. It's not a good again, game. Properly. It is not a good video well, game. And BAFTA also, winner, so... it didn't get a proper BAFTA, did it? It got, it got a BAFTA. Game Beyond Entertainment. That's a what does that mean? That is a, ba- that is a BAFTA. Day. What does so, that mean? Game Beyond, Beyond Entertainment? You, how many BAFTAs you won? <laughs> Four. <laughs> we just repeating Name a joke them. we did on WhatsApp. Yeah, no, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but now the public can hear it. But Game Beyond Dead, so it's like, um, so it's coming to the end of the season for my little league team. And you give awards out, and there are awards like top goal scorer or best goal or, you know, uh, best, uh, most assists, you know, that sort of thing. And um, uh, and then you get down, but all the kids have got to have awards. So it's just the smartest, smart, smart, smartest shirt. Like, what, what, what was the best, best tackle? <laughs> like, I don't know what, we're sort goal of running out of ideas for the... Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I, I'm really struggling to come up with ideas for awards for these kids, like the shit, the, the shit ones. No, I'm, oh. so I'm joking. I'm joking. It's a joke. They're all, they're like all brilliant. Best hair. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah. like the Smash It Awards, like 1996. <laughs> Mar- yeah, that again. <laughs> Most likely to run the country. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, that fills up with what, what some of these do. Anyway, no, congrats I don't to all the battle winners. People. They did. Uh, they did win lots, didn't they? Super Mario Brothers Wonder, that yeah. one family. Best multiplayer. Best multiplayer, yeah. The worst thing. Oh, about it's it. dreadful. <laughs> uh, it's dreadful as a multiplayer this is, game. This is that. the problem with t- commenting on awards, isn't it? Like, guess what? We disagree with some of them. We agree with yeah, others. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. but that's just factually wrong, though. That yeah, Call of Duty is raging that's... right now. Or any <laughs> game is raging. Like, how yeah. does that mean best multiplayer? That's I I think also, um, uh, some well, you know we mentioned gaming with kids and stuff that has a big thing. So I guarantee the people that voted on that hadn't been gaming with their full family <laughs> because Super Mario Bros. Wonder would not fucking win that award if they had. I remember we tried it and my five year old went, "Ah, oh, this is rubbish." Like my <laughs> five year old said that <laughs> so, uh, so, they're like, is he, is rubbish. So, so they're not a BAFTA judge is what, is what you're saying <laughs> no but they uh-huh. fucking should be, should yeah. be. maybe yeah. they bloody yeah. should be yeah. um, uh, Cyberpunk got uh, Evolving Games award what because it what? Evol- it's evolved yeah once. they've had patches oh because it's evolved it's oh okay <laughs> now it's finished evolving right it's okay fine. it's perfect now um, is this you you're only bringing that up because um uh, because she nominated still, it for Game of the Year last 2024, year. 2024, never mind three. It's still getting awards. Would you have had that, Tom? Would you have had a, a nomination for Game of the Year last year for Cyberpunk? I think we did nominate that possibly in our own awards. Okay, right. Yeah, I think, I think that evolving one, that oh, evolving no, one I feel that, that that whole award about evolving game, whatever, I find a bit... Like, games that are just fixing themselves <laughs> Yeah, doesn't really count, I don't think. But I think it does, like, you say something like No Man's Sky... Mm. which is actually like my son is obsessed with this game he's 10 mm-hmm. and he's put like 100 hours into it i look at it i'm like it's far too complicated you look at the menu screen and like it's just like there's just boxes all over the place with numbers on them i don't have the time but that game legitimately has been updated like a lot over like eight years maybe it's amazing isn't it that should just win it every like year, year from my point of view of like getting it where it was supposed to be and everyone's kind of like all right that's that's probably it now, or they'll start charging for the DLC or, or whatever. And yeah, and they've just carried on, just kept adding more and more stuff. It's amazing. Yeah. Every time Sean starts out tweeting emojis, he's like, Sean, have a rest or something. <laughs> this is mad. So it's coming, another massive update's coming. Yeah, like the stuff they've done is, is ridiculous. Yeah. So, best game then, which is the one anyone cares, cares about, uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, no well, major got a bunch surprise. Of awards, Baldur's Gate. Baldur's, Baldur's, Baldur's Gate. Gate. I've not played um, it. Yeah, um, I should probably finish it, <laughs> to be honest. It's just not my type of game, but like, mm. um, I can see why everyone loved it so much. Yeah. Uh, technical achievement, I was kind of surprised. I suppose, well, Zelda. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom won it, and to get it running on that machine, yeah, I, I could, uh, maybe I can see that, you know. <laughs> um, uh, but it still, it still had problems here and there. Like, I'm mm. surprised it's, it wasn't solid, was it? Uh, I'm glad Adam Wake won. It won artistic achievement and audio. Uh, yeah, it excels at both of them. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm glad it picked up some awards. And Viewfinder won too, which I'm I, like I'm really yeah. happy with. Viewfinder was a, a really underrated game last year. Such mm. a good experience. Like, I loved it. 
Um, so I'm glad that got that got the nod. So but you're it right. Won, um, sorry, it won um, best British game. Great. It also won new intellectual property. I'm like, I thought that was weird. Yeah, I when don't, I think yeah, IP, I don't, I don't think like that feels like a very much one and done great yeah, novel so, game. So I don't think it's a franchise. It's gonna be like the new MCU. This. Yeah, like the viewfinder gonna... movie is coming. <laughs> <laughs> all the viewfinder characters will be in Fortnite this time next year. <laughs> all the different photos. Yeah, all um, <laughs> I'm, but you're yeah. you're right. Awards are bollocks, aren't they? They're they're really good for the people that win them, and but ultimately they're they're, they're, they're fucking nonsense. And especially like, you know, like, the independent and, and, yeah, game especially awards, them. the independent <laughs> podcast awards. <laughs> as yeah, you're going for that, say again that and it sounds like you having a go at the, the the idea of the whole thing it's like no it's i'm absolutely fine with a load of talented people having a party and because they deserve it but yeah the, the actual winners you're like yeah all right <laughs> whatever all right this, that was uh sean's fork corner yeah <laughs> which is going to be a regular little <laughs> section it's like the little cutouts in the magazines just with sean's little <laughs> comment at the bottom at the end of it so sort of just as a full stop i don't think, uh, should people, get to... that, I don't think people would be up for that Mate, I'd fucking be up for it. I'm not Would taking you? a piss. I'd love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could edit them together at the, the at the end of the year. Just put them all as one string of Sean Bell consciousness. Yeah, but, but, but put like a drum do... and bass backing track on it. <laughs> yeah, remember you used to do Sean's question? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that didn't go well. I used, I used, to, do, I used to do a bit on the old podcast that was just, it's called the Tomori Minute. Yeah. I'm not sure yeah. if anyone I remembers remember that this. far back. And it was like, Talking about your love life. It was before, oh, like, um, it's, it's, it's a funny one. Um, but uh, <laughs> it was about like they just like said because they bullied me quite a lot on the podcast before I was like a podcast pro, mm, and well they'd just made. say right, Tom, just talk for a minute, and I just have to just it was silence apart from me saying something about what had been going on in my life, and they'd always find it hilarious that I just said what I've been doing, and that was it. I had a little jingle and everything. <laughs> <laughs> is there a super there needs to be a super cut on youtube yeah. are those episodes still available somewhere? i have no hopefully not to be honest who knows <laughs> oh, really <laughs> yeah uh, yeah we all have those fears don't we if someone d- d- digs up a, an episode of a podcast that we did 12 years ago it's um yeah i, I don't even last week listen, that's it yeah last week was a bad one um yeah. should we go to the news next news story sean so you know how it's april Oh, yeah. And we're like, yep. you know, a third through the year. Sega have just decided that it's the year of Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Which one was he? Um, well, apparently this is because so the, we're, we're getting Sonic cross Shadow Generations. I'm not even sure what that is. We need James here. He'll know. He bloody loves the Sonic. Yeah, he loves that shit. Uh, and he's obviously he's going to be in the Sonic Hedgehog 3 film. I didn't know that was out this year. I thought that was next year. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. Yeah, no, I'll, yeah, I'll watch it. Um, oh, right. Okay, sorry. Uh, ben in the chat said, apparently Keanu Reeves is, vo- is voicing him. I assume that's not a wind-up. That's incredible if that's true. Is it, though, one of the yeah. worst actors? I don't understand why. <laughs> he seems like a lovely fella. <laughs> One of the worst actors I've ever seen. Every film, every time I every time. Okay, okay. That is fair. That's <laughs> fair. But every film I've seen him in, he's destroyed. <laughs> and <I'm> like, <laughs> and, and that fucking cyberpunk game where he turns up and goes, gotta get a gun, gotta go down there. <laughs> and I'm like, fucking hell, mate, put some effort in. Like, holy shit. Um, sorry for listening. Does. I think I think being cast as Shadow the Hedgehog is perfect for him. Okay, I think work. we'll see. It's um, going to irritate the fuck out of me in the cinema because I'm just going to be like, "There's Bill or Ted or whatever one he was." Or Neo. <laughs> Neo. Just going to say guns. And then, uh... <laughs> uh, uh, Eurogamer apparently the year of Shadow will also include bonuses in mobile games, Lego sets, and additions to the Sonic Symphony World Tour. Right. Cool. Okay. Year of Shadow. So we've, yeah, I'm, we've I'm actually excited. been in the Year of Shadow for over three months already. Um, um, well, really the weather has it. been shit, so this makes a lot of sense <laughs> it's now. True. It's true. Oh, God, um, that was awful, Matt. Fucking hell. Dark <laughs> um, yeah, I couldn't give a shit about this character. I couldn't give a shit about Sonic anymore. I'm done okay. with any of this. Well, I thought I'd say go with you there, Dave, because I just announced the Year of Shadow the Hedgehog <laughs> in April. Okay. <laughs> so good. They also can't be fucked. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, this next story I put in just to talk about the tattoo stuff, really. But yes, so Star Wars Outlaws has been announced. It's coming out in August 30th. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. I'm forward to it. And there was a trailer. Which what trailer I was a trailer? I thought the trailer was okay. Everyone's kicking the shit out of it, apparently. No, I thought the trailer 
was right first of all it, there was so much fan service in that trailer that yes. it made me feel a little bit sick yeah. it's like oh now i'm in the jab of the hut bit well and oh, we'll, look, get we'll, we'll get on to that <laughs> what what do you mean we'll, we'll come, that's the next story okay 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 oh holy shit okay holy <laughs> um okay right but we'll get to that but but there was like it was they might as well have just gone oh uh, hey, how are you doing today i'm doing fine oh have you heard of obi-wan kenobi and then like <laughs> looking at the fucking screen and it's like i get it it's star wars i get it you're in star wars it's um, very if, star wars every time it looked in game mm. the animation looked a bit fucking shit there's <laughs> a bit where the, there's a bit where oh, the character shit. jumps up and rolls down and i went mm. i thought holy this looks ps2 level animation what the hell's going <laughs> nah, on here? for me i look like, like ps5 it, I'm, i think it looks really good. <laughs> nailed on 86 <laughs> on metacritic I reckon. Okay. Uh, no, I, yeah, I, I mean, thought it looked fine, um, but yeah, the the stink part of the stink around it is that apparently the Jabba the Hutt mission uh, is specifically tied to the the premium edition, which will set you back one hundred and ten dollars. I think it's a great move. I think it's a great move. Honestly, I think you know, well, well done to devs. I think they deserve it, and yeah, you know, looks like great content. I'm I'm looking forward to it. So I think you know, if anything, it's too cheap. So <laughs> they should probably well, 110 quid. Like, and we should hello. Do, and this is part of it. So hello, what, sorry, just... you see, 110 quid. Do you see on Hot UK deals? Because that is a bargain for me. That is, <laughs> that is ridiculous. I mean, Snap Matt, it on that way, this is further value for money, but this is part of a season pass. There's a fucking season pass. Good. Oh, well, wow. With this single player game. That Holy feels shit. weird. Nah, because yeah, that was a does. great steady lot of content, Sean. Like, it's really going to, you know, improve the story, improve the game. I think, again, all great. Really excited for the, for the team and, and for the game in in coming future. I don't want to come across <laughs> like a Ubisoft apologist, but I feel like it's got bit blown up. This out of like it's nothing really, is it? Yeah, I agree. It's like well. it's just it's just a um like all games have DLC right packaged as a in, even like Nintendo games these days have like expansion passes, what they're called, mm. right? Mm. This is just part of that. You just get it day one, right? And it's just part of that. It's just marketing to get you to buy the expensive one that has the expansion but pass. But then it, by by having it day one, does that not cross that line, the line of like, well, care. you're making it anyway? Well, no, yeah, they've like... been, yeah, but they've been doing it. They've, that, that, that shit's been happening before. I think what people that might be getting been up about is that that's the episode so title, um, is that, that Jabba the Hutt is like a really big character and it's a really big... But I'm assuming yeah. there's Jabba the Hutt things in the game anyway and it's just a little add-on to a Possibly, mission. Possibly, yeah. Apparently, yeah. It's a day one exclusive mission with Jabba called Jabba's Gambit. <laughs> with Jabba, where you go around with Jabba for a Ride bit. Ride on his back. And, like, <laughs> yeah. slithers around. Yeah. Is this, is this, I pay money for that. Is this yeah. podcast, do you like Star Wars or not? On there? Yeah, I think, I think we, we do for the most part. I think that's the bit I'm struggling with is that people are so upset about is that Star Wars is shit, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, and then, yeah, fine. And then, so <laughs> then they're upset you can't do a mission for Jabba, who is also shit. Like, if you've watched those films, he is shit in those films. Yeah, right? he is shit. Especially in the one where they redid it with CGI, and it's like, yeah, this is the uh, worst yeah. thing I've ever seen in my life. I watched it with my son, like, a couple of years ago. I was like, I can't but believe where, it. Um, like, look that where, where, where he goes up, where they make him move up as they go over his <laughs> tail is the best thing I've ever seen in a film, I think. Yeah. So I just can't, I mean, I can't Dave, get you, behind have, this at all. Dave, have you seen the original Jabba? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so um, when we were doing Star Calls, which is... Tom, uh, a I've not series. Yeah, I've saw sort of tweeting about it at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knows all about it. it. <laughs> I'm surprised you. Didn't, I'm surprised you didn't put me on mute at that point. Um, yeah. So when we were doing that, one of the things we did was go back and watch that original scene with the original Jabba, and I would, I would love to see it, like that scene. You know, the scene from the third one mm. or whatever it was. Oh, well, actually, it's episode six or whatever it's called. Um, uh, the third one, I'd love to see that scene with the old school Jabber in it. <laughs> Just to see what I like, how that whole thing changes. Same, like same size cave, but just him on a on a throne. And just him <laughs> getting, his, getting, you know, strangled to death. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just some guy yeah, yeah, getting yeah. strangled. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, Tom, I, I know that. what you mean because obviously I was a few weeks ago. I was defending the like the way the Dragon's Dogma two. Um, microtransactions have been massively blown out of proportion by some people. Um, it was very weird. Um, so, I, yeah, I know what you mean. I just so, feel like it's like people are angry about everything 
there's always something people are angry yeah. about with this stuff. But I mean, if it's just, I think just accept that it was never part of the game. If you want it, it's like Ubisoft actually are quite good for DLC. Usually, mm. I imagine you'll get a decent chunk of stuff. I know we don't know what it's going to be like, and they're asking you to pay. But also, you don't have to buy it day one, right? Mm-hmm. It's part of the pass, whatever it is. So just look at it on YouTube. If you like it, buy it then. Mm. <laughs> and that's Tom Ori saying that. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, finally. take that advice and run with it. Yeah, no, um, but I know, um, I, I mean, I thought this game looked great anyway. And I thought it was a good trade. I mean, it got, got, me, got me pumped. I mean, that's kind of why I took the bet on, because I thought the game looked good. <laughs> And it, it still remains looking good. To Hold me, on, so. no, you took the bet on about a year ago, Matt. The, what? <laughs> no, I, I took the bet on when there was the uh, the concept well, of the game. It was a and great I was like, concept oh, art, yeah. It was a great logo, and whatever it was at the time, I was like, I think it's a great. You bet your skin. Well. You bet your skin on concept skin. art. It wasn't on concept <laughs> art. <laughs> there must be something else, surely. <laughs> Did I make, make a bet on my skin because of concept art? Mm. Okay, next news story. Uh, the next and final news story is that uh, shitloads of people are playing Fallout because the telly show uh, oh, apparently player oh. counts have more than doubled for like basically every game in the series uh, on Steam and stuff. Um, I mean, yeah, I just thought this was a nice excuse to just briefly talk about the, the Fallout TV show. Have we yeah, all one episode it? in? Yeah, yeah, same here. I fucking loved it. I loved yeah. that first episode. Like, I adored yeah. it. I yeah. thought it was proper good. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked the characters. I liked how violent it was. I liked, yeah, it just, it was right up my street. Mm. Um, like it, even as one... a, you know, like I said before, like I don't don't really appreciate that Fallout is just Elder Scrolls sci-fi now. Um, but, yeah. like What's there, there that was... mean? What do you mean by that? Well, it's basically an Elder Scrolls game now as opposed to the original two games. But why which don't aged, you appreciate which have aged that? terribly, by the way. I'm not saying. Well, okay, what do you mean? Like, why don't you appreciate that? What's what's your beef with that? Um, I just don't really like Elder Scrolls, do I? Oh, don't you? I thought you mm-hmm. loved Elder Scrolls. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. right, okay. Well, that makes sense. Um, but again, it's, you know, I'm not one of these people who's like, "No, oh, fuck Bethesda, they ruined it." I just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I, I, yeah, I'm a Fallout fan, but not so much the more recent stuff. Anyway. Yeah, there's shitloads of stuff in this that just even as a, a fan of the older games, um, just, yeah, I don't know. It gets the whole thing of Fallout. It's not just, oh, well, we played Fallout 3 for 10 minutes and we, you know, like there's there's clearly like a genuine love for the, the series as a whole. Yeah. Now. It's, it's yeah. And as I said, I was, I was surprised by how horrifically violent it is. And like yeah. it is really gory, really mm. violent. Yeah. And and then I remembered the, b- the majority of that game is blowing people's heads off in slow yeah, motion, yeah. Yeah. so that I can't really like sort of like of course they've nailed that. Mm-hmm. And I've got two complaints. The first being, I never want to fucking go to watch an episode and see it's seventy six minutes long. <laughs> that first episode is seventy six minutes. Was that a funny? But, do you think that's a funny reference? To oh, I, possibly. But <laughs> I mean, not surely, it, absolutely, definitely. <laughs> Just well, made episode me two's a- four minutes long. That must be it. Yeah. <laughs> it just made me really fucking angry. I I just don't do like oh my and god. Especially like, because that that first episode arguably does more than it needs to, right? Like yes, yeah. There's there's a there's a character that probably doesn't need to introduce in episode one. Yeah, I, could have I done it on say, the next but, one. Yeah, 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 just shuffle it over. Just put some credits in the middle of it and just chop it up. Yeah. Do instead of doing nine episodes of an hour long each, do eighteen episodes of half an hour each. Much better. Much prefer that. <laughs> but no, no some of them later like four or six minutes. So yeah, it's it just kind of like it's all chopping, changing. Yeah, Dave, have you heard? Don't... I've got. Have you heard of something? The pause button. <laughs> <I've heard something laughs> the what? The pause button. <laughs> yeah, but then that makes it even longer. But like, that... I, people, I, I don't get people argue about this all the time on the internet about stuff's too long, right? Just stop yeah. it. Stop it when you've had enough and watch it the next day. Yeah, but then no, but but you that's could, what but we you did. argue that that 76 minutes of television has been, you know, orchestrated, composed to work as a I whole watch, thing. I watch a lot of films right. these days over two yeah. or three days because we don't have time. <laughs> I'm like, it's all right. I, 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 I managed to watch films and I don't feel like I've got a much inferior experience because I've watched them over a few days. I'm going to watch Oppenheimer soon. It'll probably take me a week to watch that. <laughs> but I'm not, going to just, I'm not going to just stop it every time and start from the beginning. I'm going to pause it and the next day I'll watch a bit more until I finish the whole thing. Yeah, but isn't there part of you that's kind of like, who's that again? 
Because <laughs> that's yeah. what I'm like. I'm terrible at that shit. Do you know but, I mean, it, back in the past, you know we were talking about being old earlier, but yeah. you used to go a week between things, right? You used to have mm-hmm. a thing, and then you'd watch it, and then the next week... But again, though, those, those were thing. written as discrete half-hour segments to be watched separately. No. Do you know what I mean? Not buying it. <laughs> I'm not, do you know what I mean? Like, whatever, like, watch films wherever you want. I'm not saying... Oh, oh cheers. I just, yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah, um, you're, a, you're a David Lynch fan, aren't you? You me? Yeah. Aren't no. you? No, no. Oh, you're not? I thought do, you were. Do you know, I've, I've, my, my David Lynch knowledge is piss poor. I've, oh, is it? Yeah. He, he did a scary movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I love him, though. <laughs> it's, just, it's a very funny film. Um, yeah, that TV, that TV show is very, very good, though. Like, uh, I, And I do one... I do, that was the other thing. Um, Joe obviously hasn't played any of the games. Mm-hmm. And I was watching with her... And I had to just keep pausing it. Right, the Brotherhood is still are they're, they're very complicated. <laughs> See, was, it it doesn't explain so well. things really I was, well. <laughs> I was doing so well at not being that guy um, up until the bit where she injects herself with a stim back, a stim pack, and it was like, "That's oh, what I that? That's what's what that? I said. I was like, right. <laughs> that's what I said. I said, "That's a stim pack. Just yeah. don't worry about it." Like, yeah, I was like <laughs> it literally looks exactly the same as the game I played when I was seventeen. That's just pretty... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think you do need to do that. A little bit because it doesn't really explain the Brotherhood is still well enough. All of a sudden, you should have rang me and Dave because I watched it and also haven't played the games. And you know, you should just <laughs> ring me and say, oh, by the way, I mean, I knew yeah, the impact you... thing. Yeah, I know, but you don't understand anything. So it's like that's the other end of the. You <laughs> well, you could be Fallout's biggest fan and you'd be going, what's that injection thing she's using? <laughs> you go, it's in the game, Matt. It was always bomb you know, <laughs> why doesn't it just stop and bring up game facts every now and then Matt because that's not how most people play these things <laughs> right uh, is that it for the news this that week that is it for the news <laughs> okay let's get to what you've been playing and uh, there is one particular game that we've all played actually um, uh, that come out on Game Pass this week it's a first person puzzle game called Botany Manor which now did this botany. come out on PC Botany, botany Manor Botany Manor <laughs> Sorry. Botany Manor. Uh, botany Manor. <laughs> botany Manor. Um, did uh, did this come out on PC a while back, or is did this launch? No, this is this is this brand week. new. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. So, who wants to start talking about this? Because good luck explaining it without sounding like a fucking wanker. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck do you describe this game without sounding like a a bell end? It's so you play. As... Here we go. Here we go. Everyone's <laughs> I'll, I'll dive on that grenade all day long. Go on. Um... <laughs> Um, so yeah, so you play as um, a woman who is a botanist and she's presumably inherited or has always lived in this huge mansion um, and she's been away for a bit and she's come back and basically you sort of it implies that she's been she's been given a book deal, right? About um, like rare flowers. And in order to do it, she's got to grow them all first, right? In order to study them and learn about them. Um <laughs> And yeah, and basically that's that's what the game is. Is like finding out about these different different plants, getting the seeds, and then working out what it is they need to grow. Which, when I heard that description of it, I was like, okay, well, I'm not really interested in in botany to be honest. But it's not really about that. It's like the very first one. There's like some stuff. Is oh, you got to make this room like the right temperature for it and stuff. And you're like, okay. But then uh, beyond that. It's all kind of silly stuff, right? Like they're yeah, they're, they're not real plants, are they? They're, no, they're fake yeah. plants. There's all oh, these ones grow when the lightning strikes. Yeah, you know, and it's, it's, and it's basically sort of yeah, it's you're going through these these different seeds, trying to grow these plants, and walking around this um, this like mansion and the sort of surrounding gardens, and picking up on like environmental clues or you know bits of text or whatever um, that will tip you off on how to grow the plants um i mean i i thought this was wonderful (laughs) i really enjoyed this um and i wasn't totally expecting it i mean it definitely tickles that escape room itch for me um in that it's you know sort of environmental puzzles um yeah it's massively escape room like in in one in one room there's a symbol and in another room there's a book with the symbol loads of symbols in it that have Mm numbers next to them and then mm. the, there's another chart on a wall or something yeah mm. there's all that shit but it's yeah. never like it's never like oh shit i need to write this down sort of territory is it it's it's pretty straightforward well, for the most part not quite but <laughs> oh, I, I 
I also really liked the game, but mm-hmm. what I didn't like was... Hold on, did you finish it, Sean? Yeah, yeah, finished it, yeah. Oh, okay. How far in are you, Matt? I finished it, yeah. It's only like oh, four hours it? or so, four or five hours. Oh, right, okay. You finished it, have you, David? No, no, no. I literally only started playing this the other day, so oh. I'm on, like, the third thing with the with the doors open to the windmill and all that, like, the oh, wind okay, cool, tunnel. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I mean, in terms of like writing down, I mean, like, um, no, although, you know, it gets more complex towards the end, but I found, like, the inventory system pretty rubbish. Like, you find there's mm. clues around the place. And if you, because, so as well as trying to find, um, you know, find out what you need to grow the plants, you have a bunch of clues, loads of clues you can pick up. And then in each chapter, there might be multiple plants, say like two, three uh, plants, and you have loads of clues. And what you can do is you can go to each page of the, of the book. And you can say, I think these five clues linking link with this plant. Mm-hmm. but And you can kind of assign them clues to that plant. But when you get all, say, like five clues assigned and they're correct, you can't look at the clues again. So well, what you can do yeah, is you, like, yeah, you can if you go back to them. Yeah, yeah. As I say, you have to physically go back to where the clues are. So you look at oh, them. Oh, I have to do that anyway. I, I didn't think there was any way to view. Yeah, you do. You can't view the clues. No, no, you book. can't. And oh. I, so, yeah. so it's just kind of like towards the end, I was like getting a little bit annoyed. I was like, okay, I was literally like, taking pictures, going to each like the, the clues, the locations, taking pictures on my phone or like taking those screenshots on the Xbox and flicking through them. Mm. I just think like the inventory stuff is kind of annoying. Like, it so, should, it yeah, wasn't like, very um, intuitive at all. Yeah, like I, I didn't have to write stuff down but certainly yeah i don't don't see that any good reason for it not letting you just view the clues you've already found without having to physically find them again i thought that was really Um, annoying because i I actually really really enjoyed the game but that mm. really kind of took me out a bit about okay Mm -hmm. you know when it says okay i've always selected those five clues and i've already assigned them to the the plant okay well i guess i'm gonna have to you know go back now take a picture i mean maybe it's just me maybe i was you know but whatever i just thought the event stuff kind of got in the way a bit Mm. but um Still thought it was really, really fun. I thought the environmental puzzles were really, really good. I thought the complexity ramped up nicely. Like mm-hmm. the last few you do are really, really good. Um, I would actually love to see a sequel or more to this game where they, the complexity is, you know, at the end of the game or a bit more because I think they could do really, really cool, really, really cool stuff. I think the the other thing that that really works for it is it's got very lucky about the timing of the release because. For anyone listening to this not in the UK, we've had a very poor start to spring, haven't we? It's been sort of, it's been pissing down the whole time. Now, I, I have a complicated relationship with summer and direct sunlight, <laughs> but <laughs> but like playing this, I was like, fuck, I'm ready for summer, man. Like, oh, this yeah, is like, just... <laughs> yeah, the, the sounds, the sunshine, yeah. it really did, you know, it, you can't not be cheered up with anything for like just walking around. It kind of felt, you know, like a Sunday you go to like a stately home and you'll look yeah, around yeah, it yeah. as a family or whatever. It's like, it's like that, but the you know, sun was shining. It was I, nice. don't know. I, I don't know, man. Do you don't have a National Trust though. membership? <laughs> don't you know? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't fucking know, man. I just, I found this so dull. I, I didn't I, I like I thought it was I thought the puzzles were far too spread out across too many rooms. I thought it needed to be a little bit more focused. Um and and even when I completed a puzzle I was like okay. I don't it, it did nothing the, the, so it, it it tries to stop you to brute force it which makes sense so you have to do two things you have to grow the plant and you also have to pin the right clues to the right plant and it, and I, I was just like oh, do, do you? I think you do. Yeah. I think okay. cuz or maybe don't. Did you? What, what don't you have to do? The clues thing. Yeah, I mean the clues, clues yeah, are probably yeah. less I essential. Thought, I thought you just grew the plant and then. Oh, I thought that. I mean, I, mean, I did both. I thought that was part of it. You had I to line them up. I yeah, I thought you had to do both. Part. But I don't know. Like, I mean, honestly, I'm listening to you talk about what you liked about, it, and you said that the the, the the it's nice walking around in the sun. Is that a positive we're talking about with this game? Is that? Yeah, I'm saying it's yeah. like really beautifully presented. Like, like the sound design and stuff is all. Like just really nicely done. Like you it's think? just a really nice representation yeah. of, like you say that that fucking Sunday afternoon at a stately home. Um, I mean, i yeah, maybe my Sunday afternoons were sat in front of the telly, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just thought, I think for context, there. my dad worked at a stately home for my entire yeah. life until about five years <laughs> yeah. ago. So that's that's my excuse for having access. <laughs> what was this? To this the, sort wasn't of he thing, a, what was the? How did you describe him? He was a. What was his job? 
Well, that is a ranger. It's part ranger. Ranger. That's, yeah, yeah, I fucking love that. <laughs> My dad's a ranger. I fucking love that shit. Um, yeah, no, I just found it incredibly dull. It did nothing for me. The characters in it pissed me off. The way they spoke to each other fucking well. No one speaks well, it's just like, Oh, yeah, the letters. Oh, dear yeah. lady. Uh, before, with the, I was like, shut up. Set in the late 1800s. Fuck off. That's how they I know, but, I know, but <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I mean, why and, did and you, this was so obviously not going to be your sort of thing, Dave. Why did you even no, bother? See, see, no, because I do no, like it's environmental it's like first puzzle games. walking like puzzle game. I thought he would mm. like Yeah, it. and I do I do like um, you know, walking simulators. I've got a lot of time for that. Mm. They were I think right, I think my main problem is what I get like chest pains about when I'm playing a game like this mm. is when it's far too open where I can walk into a room and go, "Okay, there's a I want to be able to walk into a room and go, "Right, there's a puzzle in this room." And I need to work it out to get through to the next bit, right? Which it does a bit of. Like, it does gatekeeping with um, keys. You have to unlock keys. Yeah, and yeah. if you do certain things, you go back to the gate and there's a key there. Someone's delivered a key and then to another part of the manor or whatever. Um, which is fine. Like, I'm all for that. Like, but, but then, but nothing gets closed off again. And there are times where, like, the bit that I'm on now, there are two seeds that you have to work out what to do with. And there are eight clues per seed, maybe maybe six to eight clues per seed. Mm -hmm. And then there are like four or five different areas that you need to work on to achieve what you need to achieve. And I'm like, this is too spread out. This I, is I, too I, spread I, out. It's really like, interesting, um, though. I think it, I, I would find it really boring if it, everything was just one room. But it's like, yeah, but that, that, it that's it. On. So it's like, so when I've done um, escape rooms, because it is very escape roomy. Mm -hmm. When I've done escape rooms, I fucking hate it when you're like, right, okay, they've given us this this like circle thing with holes in it. Let's work out what that is, right? And you spend ages trying to work it out, and then they go, yeah, that's for a puzzle in the next room. And you're going, well, don't put it in this room then. Don't put it in this room then, because I've spent half an hour no, see, with this little I, circle I thing that, putting it like, up against. Sort of holding things in my head and being like, right, like we've picked up this thing. Not sure what it's for yet, but just remember it's there. And then in Ten minutes time, we'll go. Oh shit! That was that thing we got. Like I quite I enjoy that. Um, I'm all right with it. That fucks me so, off. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it, it was. It, I mean, there was a bit. I think you enter like a kitchen, and like mm. suddenly like, the complexity like ramped up. Okay, so I'm mm. actually thinking like of there's three different plants or two different plants. All the clues, which clue really links to each plant, and like does this mean? Yeah, it, it was quite complex. And you know, the last bit, I'm like I'm trying to basically juggle three puzzles at the same time, but I also kind of liked it for that. You know. Mm -hmm. It, defi it was definitely that, challenging. I like the way there's, yeah, there's, there's some stuff you read where it'll just be like a poem or something, and you're like, all right, don't even know, really, really know why that's gone in the clue list, but whatever. And then, yeah, sort of as you figure more stuff out, being like, oh, shit, no, that relates to such... I like, agree, I really like but that. there are some some of the poems that are like... <laughs> there was one that's like, think about when the was built, and that is the key. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> I love one that someone wrote about him with that in it, didn't they? <laughs> and then hung that up on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Matt, Matt, here's the question. How many times did you use a help game FAQ? Yeah. Because like, I bet it was yeah. a lot. Yeah, actually, it's funny you said that particular one you just mentioned, right? About the whole like key. I was like, okay, I've done everything <laughs> yeah. else. Why can't I get this thing off the wall? And that was saying, because you have to actually have to do it later. I'm like, if I don't do it now, am I going to locked out? Am I going to miss out? So. Yeah, I do kind of get it, but um, yeah. I think uh, the, 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 the main me. takeaway for me was like, you know, I've said before, I have feelings about like cozy games, right? In that right, right, right. I don't feel like you anyone can tell me what I'm going to find <laughs> cozy because co <laughs> cozy is not like, do you know what I mean? Like most games such that describe... Such an old man <laughs> thing to say. That is such an you old... You don't get to tell no, me That is such a middle-aged not... white man thing to <laughs> say. <laughs> You can't tell me out of fucking Phil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cozy. Oh, no, like, to me, cozy right, is not a thematic thing. It's about the familiarity, right? Or the, like, like something mm. that is, like, like you know, I've said before, like, Dark Souls can be a really cozy game for people because they've played it through five times over and right, they, right. they just know it inside out, right? This is, the, like, the first game I've played where it aims for that and it worked on me. And so, yeah. So for that, if nothing else, I was like, yeah, well done. <laughs> Normally, I feel like I'm immune to this stuff, but um, yeah, I, th I thought this was really nice. Yeah, I thought it was a really, Tom, really pleasant experience. Mm. Tom, you you only played the opening bit, but what did you mm. make of it? 
didn't like it much. <laughs> yes. Um, I, was, I mean, I can I can see some appeal, I think, but I got a bit distracted because I walk, I did the first bit where you do the wart, if it's called the first plant. I was like, all right, fine, that will grow if I put this heater on with it. Fine, it was mm -hmm. magical or whatever. Um, <laughs> and then I walked out. I walked out, and then there's a, a tree or a bush glitching above a door. I just yeah, kept walking backward and forward so to try and replicate to make it happen again. I got distracted doing that for about two minutes. <laughs> yeah, the same. And then I yeah. just stopped because I had to do this podcast. But um, I kind of it looks to superficially it looks like a bit like the witness, right? Like it's got that mm, kind yeah. of. I'm not sure if you played the witness, but the witness has issues in that the person that made it has problems, the right? <laughs> but the witness is like. <laughs> The the witness is an incredible game, like yeah. from my, my point of view, like mm -hmm. unbelievably good. Mm. And every game I've played since then that is similar in terms of like it's a puzzle game, really, can never match up to that because mm. that blew my mind really as a game. Like if you, I don't want to spoil it because if you haven't played it, I know people talk down about it because of the creator, etc. But it is an amazing game. It has a, the most mind blowing moment I've ever had in a video game. So once you get past a certain point and something else happens in the game that you're like, I can't believe this is happening. And I mm. could have probably seen this a long time ago, but I just didn't. Mm. And it's just like unbelievable. And that I don't, maybe this is that good, but I doubt, I doubt it. Oh, no, it's, it's well, not, this is, no, not. yeah, this is, this is it. So <laughs> that, that, that moss that was over the, the door that was mm. glitching in and out, mm. I thought, oh, like, cause it was that obvious, like, and that blatant and that in my eye line, I was like, Oh, is something the matrix. something's <laughs> gonna happen and suddenly you're not in this house and it's gonna get really dark and fucked up. But my understanding with me is that it, uh, my it's understanding I looked yeah. I looked at the end on YouTube, it it doesn't uh, do that. <laughs> no, that, and that, that it was is very just a glitch. Strange. Like obviously not having a go at a dev for having a bug in their game, like these things happen. But it's so early on and so obvious. That, yeah, like it's proper like, oh, in your shit, eye line, did, isn't it? How did that not get fixed? Like, it's, yeah, it's wild. It's yeah, wild. yeah, yeah. It, it happens quite a bit in that. Yeah. And I love the idea. I love, you know, I, look, we can all, like, deal with video game bullshit. But there, it is quite funny that she went away for a couple of months and come home and the fucking place is destroyed. <laughs> I don't know if that tree was supposed to be growing in the f middle of it. Uh, I think the... it was, yeah. But yeah, there's right. some stuff where, like, oh, yeah, this entire stairway is collapsed. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> there's a note next to it saying the stairway's done like is that their kids to had a facebook party there it was i don't know a facebook party me. fucking hell what a rent <laughs> was an old game old wasn't it set ages ago <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. ages ago, wasn't it? It probably was like Fender United era. <laughs> okay. But I, I, I did love all like you know the, the kind of narrative and storytelling about the fact that you know this mm. woman tried to get, you know, she's, she's trying to work in science, and then all the men were like, no, you know, I think you'd be better doing this, that, and the other, and mm. you know, just leave us, leave us to the men. Mm -hmm. And I really liked like you know seeing how her narrative kind of evolved, and I think it had like a, a I think it had a nice ending, frankly. Mm -hmm. But it was interesting seeing that stuff where you know she's clearly trying to make a trying to make a go at this and she's really good at it but then all society and men are trying to like you know push her down because it's woman. weird that she went away for that amount of time trying to discover these new plants and what makes them tick only to return to find everything actually in her house that, that <laughs> achieves what there she's is, been looking yeah. for isn't it because there, there were certain bits where like you'll unlock a room and then you'll get in there, and be, I can't remember, I can't think of any examples now. But there will be a sign that she has been there since she got back. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, why was this locked off then? But yeah, I think you see a phone charger <laughs> in one room. Like you've clearly been here. <laughs> right, okay, that's Botany Manor. It's available. No, no, but on... I, I think it's really good. I, I recommend people play. It. I know, Dave, you, you haven't, you know, you haven't liked liked it, but I think it's good. I've yeah. yeah, I deleted it already. Um, Fuck uh, it. Very short. I, I didn't play too much of it because uh, I finished The Wreck. Was a game, it was a game that I'd oh, yeah, yeah. Um, spoken about last week, which is a narrative sort of point-and-click game. You know, it's... it's um, Yeah, it's a... What, what's the, what do they call them? The novel... What the, what, what, James Graphic, Lux, visual, visual novel? Graphic, yeah, visual novel. Uh, Battle Royale. Battle Royale. Uh, exactly <laughs> <sure. laughs> yeah. Um, it's fucking brilliant. Like uh, the, the, the yeah, my concerns about the 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 opening hour or so, where I thought some of this might be a little bit um, uh, contrived and it might be bullshit or whatever. It's just not. Like honestly, 
James, if you're listening to this, mate, go and play the wreck. You'll absolutely adore it. The the the, the characters in it are so well handled, and um, uh, the conversations that they have are just so yeah. well played out. Um, and ah, uh, uh, the, the 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 overall story, although is very emotional, very affecting. Like the, the, the stuff that happens in that game. And there's a, a lot of trigger warnings at the start and listen to those, you know, it is a, it's, it's a really strong story, some really heavy um, themes. But my word, like it's exactly what I was after when I loaded up, um, what was the game? What was the game that we open talked roads. about? Open Roads. Open Roads, yeah. It was what I was hoping Open Roads would be and Open Roads was not very good. And this, The Wreck, which I played on PS5, uh was absolutely fantastic the more the more i got into it the more i really enjoyed it some of the yeah some of the writing is absolutely some of the best that i've played in the past few years so awesome. if you are into visual novel games definitely check it out yeah i bought this because yes, it was on offer I'm, I'm not sure it still is but i bought it and i, I installed it i intended like to quid. play it but yeah i i I'll play it matt yeah it's re- yeah, I, uh, I, it I, might I, get you I've probably already kind of spent like two hours on the title screen, honestly, but just other things were happening. But um, yeah, I, I'm well, it's got the, I didn't How... mention this, but it's got this really cool fucking pause mechanic where like you're not actually, how do I put it? So it's like a, you're not, the story that you're playing is not actually a story of the game. It's being written by someone, right? Mm. So when you press pause, it brings up a notepad with the script. Like yeah. of the scenes that you've just seen, that's nice. And when you unpause, it takes like five seconds where they write the last line that was said out in front of you, and then it goes into the game, and you're seeing it like all happening. Oh, it's just brilliant. Like I really, I, I really recommend it actually. Um, and it would have probably been on our game of the year show had I played it last year. Uh, but uh, it, exactly that level, you know, that last stop, that um, open road sort of level of or type game that I was really in the mood for, and I wish I'd played this instead of Open Roads, which I did. That's not, that's not so, off Open Roads anymore. wasn't very good, though, was <laughs> no, it, No, it wasn't. Matt? I'll be honest with you, it wasn't very good. <laughs> so, um, that's why I'm excited to play this. But that's, that's what I've been playing. Tom, Tom, you've been playing Returnal. That's an interesting one. Why have you gone back to this? Well, I was playing God of War Ragnarok, because I thought, I finally get around to it. That took me about three months, because I play, like, it takes me ages to finish games, like half an hour a night. And it just just get through them very slowly, and then I'd like I was about to turn the PlayStation off a few weeks ago to to do Alan Wake on the Xbox. Finally, do Alan Wake two on the Xbox, but I saw Returnal there on the little bar at the top of the PlayStation. I thought, right, I won't bother. It was I was about to go. Uh, it's a weekend. I wouldn't have much time to play over the weekend. So I thought I'll just give this a go for us to Alan Wake next week. And it's really good. Returnal is really good. Um, it feels cold. really. It's a really nice game to play. It feels like a proper gamey game and that sounds a bit shit but it just feels like a, a nice tight game to play right um yeah the mo- the movement is just so spot and on then you it's get like this, once you get like the sword thing and like you're dashing around it feels really cool to play but and this ties into a bit of the, the feeling sad bit earlier segment is that i'm just not good enough i just i'm just i just i'm not good enough and i've done like because of my the time i have to play games these days is quite short i've been doing this about two weeks i still haven't beaten the first boss right and i'm like as i've got to just call it i'm not gonna do it i haven't got time to invest hours a week to never get anywhere and i just i want to be better at it because i really like playing it but i get to that boss and i'm like it just gets me and i like fourth wave wherever it is and i'll get taken out and i'm like it's really annoying because it looks great plays great it's got a really cool like the whole setup of it, the way it works, etc. Um, and it's got really cool like it's one of the few games that feels like it's made use of the PlayStation Five controller nicely. Yeah, yeah. Totally, my son yeah. picked it up and was like, "Whoa!" Because he's a big Xbox gamer, and he was like, "Because that's on all the time in our house." But the PlayStation was on. He had a go, and it's like I didn't know that it could do all this cool stuff. I said, "Yeah, some games actually are quite good with that." But I just I can't. I'm just not good enough. I don't know what it is. I'm just old. I can't do stuff like i used to be able to do like i can't i used to be able to do like in god of war i used to be able to parry attacks i can't do it anymore i'm just so <laughs> bad i'm just i fail every single time at trying to parry something i tweaked it down the settings like make parrying easier like open a massive window and i'm still doing it wrong 
<laughs> um, didn't they address this though? Because I played Returnal when it first came out, and there were no difficulty settings or anything. There aren't there difficulty settings now. I don't think game? so. I think it's just um, you can pause it now, right, or save it, or whatever. I think the big thing was there was no way of resuming, and you can do that now. Uh, but, yeah. 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 Um, uh, I, I should just say Jim Trinker's entered the chat um, and asking how the fuck you're still awake. Don't you need a nap after 20 minutes? Are you I struggling, mean, Tom? I, are you doing I'm right? normally in bed by now, to be fair. <laughs> well, I've uh, just got another, another 90 minutes left, Tom. So <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I love Returnal. I, I genuinely love the themes, the style of it. Like, it's so stylish. But you're right, it was too hard for me. I think I got to, like, the third or fourth boss and that was because so, it, it 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 ramps up way more than that first boss like it, it it only gets harder i remember the third biome or whatever it's called just being ridiculous like i remember thinking i don't like i'm done i cannot keep bashing my head against the wall and it kills me because it's one of the most stylish and fun shooters that i've played in forever um and there are upgrades that you get along the way like you can buy lives uh, you can increase your health and all that sort of stuff. Um, but it, I never got to the point where I felt like I was going to be able to complete that game. And, I, I, you know, when you saw people on Rollmuck starting to complete it, I was so jealous of them because I wanted to see everything that game had. Like, it was so beautiful um, that you're right. Yeah, it just killed me that I never really got to the end of it. So did you, you didn't even get to see that. Did you get to see any of the house scenes? I've been in the house once, yeah. The house oh, stuff God, was really yeah. cool. It was yeah. fucking horrific, that stuff. Proper, sp- proper spooky. Spooky. Yeah. It's, just, yeah, yeah. it's a nice... It's not, I, really want to, I really want to be able to do more of it, but I just. I know it's just going to be a constant struggle, and I'll be doing this all year, and I'd have got to like the second biome, whatever it's called, eventually, and I've just been like, I've wasted my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I know the word <laughs> biome existed before Eternal, but was that the point where... Every every level and every game ever after that become a biome. biome. It's like well, no, um, because I knew the word existed, specifically but... to like when there's like a type of level with like a certain theming or or climate or, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, um, but then there's randomization. I think Minecraft that, right? was one of the big. My son's yes. bigger than yeah, Minecraft, yeah, yeah. and he's always on about biomes. Yeah, oh, really. Yeah, and mm. wasn't it wasn't it the Tomb Raider the the Tomb Raider reboot where people were saying no, it's not open world. They're sort of little biomes. Wasn't oh, that when? Oh, nah, surely not. But all right, okay. all right, okay. <laughs> sure. no, then. <laughs> okay, no. I'm sure that's what they would describe that as the time. That, I think that's the first time I heard that, and I was like, "What? I, yeah, no, I didn't say what. I went, yeah, biomes, yeah, just sort of <laughs> nodded I and mean, went, yeah, no, I yeah, know exactly what, what you're chatting about, life? mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what? used to all my life. Um, <laughs> I say tube. Uh, right, okay. okay. Um, so that's Returnal. I, I'm. Do you know what? I would love to go back to it at some point, but only if I knew that you could turn the difficulty right down. Like if it if it got to that, then I would yeah, I would genuinely play play through that game. Um, and it's such a shame because I don't think we're going to see a Returnal two because if I remember correctly, they were really disappointed by how that game performed. Mm. Um, oh man, if you've got a PS five and you've got the PS plus thing, then definitely give it a go because it's worth it. Just just to see how beautiful that game is in the opening few areas like it's great biomes. it is great biomes yeah. um and the only other game we've got down here is destiny 2 sean are you being <laughs> fucking serious I'm, I'm being very quick what is wrong with you uh, <laughs> <laughs> i just thought i'd check in and see what it's like loading it up after not playing it for the best part of a year is this because you um, watched the final shape trailer the final shape trailer I mean, also helped Bungie are the best at trailer art. Really I, mean, I don't are. think they've done. I mean, they probably have done bad ones in the past, but like yeah. now you know it's like a new Destiny DLC. You'll watch the trailer mm-hmm. and you'll be you will be pumped as fuck. I mean, yep. the trailers are always fantastic, always. Yeah. Um, and like there's there's this new activity um, called like in, it's like Into the Light or something, which is free for oh, everyone yeah. to take part in, and it's a good way of um, getting like new new like very high tier um, gear. Um, it's fine from what I've played of it. Like it's basically like a wave-based horde mode, which is weird because on the one hand you're like, well, this isn't particularly inspired, but also it is really good fun. And it's like, well, why didn't they? They could have done this years ago. This is quite <laughs> basic stuff. Um, so that's fine. And yeah, but it's just the usual mess of like because I haven't played like the last two seasons, 
it's like introducing both of them as if they're new because they are new to me like they haven't they haven't happened yet in my sort of timeline right except they have happened in the game's timeline so it's like right so this was all the last season's missions here's all seven of them um like you know just sorry jim trings in the chat has just pointed out that i'm yeah you, you're correct yaxi ear pads so i've even got the fucking <laughs> this is going to be shit for the podcast listeners i framed the fucking yaxi ear pads leaflet that came with them that's that's normal behavior isn't it what the Cheers, fuck man. is wrong with you <laughs> what what we know he's going on about these headphones. I was say, Tom, is there know. part of you that's really pissed off that Jim is trying to upstage you in the chat at the moment? Like, you can't right. get away from him. He loves um, me. Yeah, well, because you <laughs> always take the piss out of my headphones. So, you know, as soon as someone actually recognizes them in a positive way, I'm like, yeah. Just get, get some in. normal headphones, Sean. They like, are that's normal all we're headphones. saying. They're absolutely okay. fine. Just sure, don't ever right. take them out of the house. You'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, if you're um, fucking, if you're, if you're the Star Lord, they're normal headphones. <laughs> but no on. one made that joke. I got these new ear pads last week, and no one said anything. Very upset. <laughs> I just did. I just yeah, did. Uh, yeah, Destiny Two's fine. I think I just I've I've run out of. The, I can't get any more dopamine out of it at this point. And after about probably about four hundred hours, I think that's probably fine. Yeah, it's okay to move on with your life, isn't it? Yeah. 400, it's got to be more than that. Yeah, yeah it has know, to be more I, than I that. Check, but then it's I think I like, played more than that. It's across like various platforms as well, so who fucking knows? Uh, I, when I look at that stuff, it, it, it's so depressing, and it's really easy to find on, um, on, on the Xbox app, like how yeah. long you've put into... Yeah, like I look at Rocket League, you go to stats. Now, this is just on the Xbox, and so not including... PS, PS5, PS4, and, and the Switch versions that I've played. I played it for 36 days, 23 <laughs> hours, and 59 minutes. That's FC24 that come out in September. I've played that for six days and 13 hours. It's ridiculous. I don't mention it on the show because it would be boring for me to do that. Have you? Mm. God knows how many hours I've put into Helldivers at this point. Um, just before we recorded, I just got to level 25, Sean. I'm getting, oh, nice. I'm getting my robot suit, mate. Don't you worry about that. Well just done. unlocked it. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I imagine that you have played it for more than what you're saying there, Sean. I think, Probably. Uh, yeah. But I just yeah. I can just not check, and that's absolutely fine. What have you been um, playing it on? What do you uh, play, well, on? I play on Xbox? Xbox. Now, but obviously, I used to play it on PS4. I can totally check for you. Yeah. I can check for you. That's the please, beauty of it. Please do. <laughs> I can um, totally check so, for you. So yeah, Sean, the final shape. So that's the last DLC of. This the light current and dark light and dark saga. saga. When's it out again? Uh, I don't know. Can't remember. It's not too far. It's this year. I know that much. Is um, it June? Maybe I don't know. It might be Come here for all your news. Know. Come here for all it is your June. news. <laughs> um, it is yeah, June. trailer tools. And like, I guess crucially, like, aren't they like mixing two subclasses now? Like, yes. There's, there's, the, yeah, they're adding these prismatic uh, subclasses apparently, which let you, yeah, sort of mix mix things up, which yeah could be really interesting. Um, I mean, it's still really fun to play, um, but yeah, I was just like, yeah, same. It's the same stuff, and that's fine. And I just, yeah, don't need to play any more of it. At this oh, point. I can tell you really easily how long you've been playing it. You ready? Yeah, go on. What did you say? How many days? Uh, I, I assumed it was like two or three hundred hours or something. But oh, maybe right. Not. oh right! Oh uh, right! No, you have played it for forty-six days. No, no I'm joking. Uh, six six days, nine hours, and forty-four minutes. That's not okay. too bad. Is that just on that's Xbox? Not, that's just on Xbox. Yeah. Uh, you see, so you got you got to count the PS4 hours as well. No, okay, Probably. well I can't. I haven't Probably. got that. I haven't got that information you, you, in front of me you've right got now. Gotta yeah. count the numbers. You've got to. Uh, <laughs> you give me count. my fucking credit where it's due. Um, yeah, Destiny Two. Yeah, fine. Okay, uh, come here for all your, your gaming opinions, baby. The computer <laughs> game show that is what we've been playing this week. Questions from our listeners, and then we can go home. If you want to send us a question, go to tcgs.co forward slash dear tcgs. Lee says, Could Tom look into his camera and give us all a big smile, please? No, no, okay, okay that's that uh, one. <laughs> One question ticked off. Yep. Yeah, done. <laughs> I think I figured it would be easy. either way it would be a quick one. Uh, Simon DM <laughs> says, "Hey guys, um, just wanted to, uh, this is going to sound self-aggrandizing that I've included this in the question section, but here we go. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to give a massive thanks to Sean a while ago on the show. Oh, he opened up about his ADHD and was explaining how it oh, affects him. Again. It was literally like he was talking about me. 
I've always struggled since I was a kid, but never really understood why. Long story short, after a long wait, I was finally diagnosed with ADHD a couple of weeks ago, and it's been pretty life-changing, to be honest, and that's all thanks to Sean. I am, I am uh, brilliant, actually, now you mention it. Um, yes, but then he says, there is, there is a question attached to this. As someone with ADHD, how do you manage to finish games? It's something I've always struggled with. I'll get bored so quickly and end up playing a game I've played a thousand times already. Thanks for all the great podcasts you guys have put out, been listening for years. Love all the great guests too, especially that James Farley chap. Um, I mean, short answer is, I mean, you've listened to the show. I don't really finish games. <laughs> so, Do you not? No, you hardly. finish hardly. games quite a bit. Um, How the fuck you play Bot- Botany Manor with ADHD is beyond me. Well, it's only four it's, hours. Because I found it engaging. So <laughs> Stop I, <yeah>. saying that! <laughs> Matt, you said it's only four hours, like, 14 times. But it's because it's short, that's why it's probably... I, say, well, I think I finished it in about <laughs> Where? half that. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, <laughs> no. when the, you know, when Matt said to me, he went, um, oh, do you know what's really cool? It, it does that thing where it's like, it, it's, um, it doesn't, it's not too hard. Like the puzzles are, are achievable, and I thought, well, that's gonna be too easy then. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Matt thinks. It's gonna be a piece of piss. He struggled um, with he struggled with the puzzles in Resident <laughs> Evil Two. I knew that first one. <laughs> Leon SK. The yeah. one where it was carved into the desk. There was I think that was it, wasn't it? There was like yeah. a four digit code you had to put in and it was carved into the desk about three centimetres away from where you input the code. Yeah, I thought it was you, like talking about letters on the You're desk running like, around the room. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, that's why I don't stream anymore. <laughs> God, Sean. Um, but yeah, no, I often don't finish games. That's why I often talk about the first three hours of games on the show, and then you'll just never really hear me mention them again. No, um, right. which is always a shame because you know people. Then like six months later, someone will be like, uh, "Sean said this was good," and then he never fucking mentioned it again. So what's what's the fucking deal, man? The deal is brain problems. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's not the game's fault. <laughs> Maria Mendieta <laughs> says, uh, "Dear TCGS, Cotton the Witch." I spent an inordinate inordinate amount of time this weekend accompanying a friend from Retro Game Shop to Retro Game Shop in search of a Super Game Boy. She thought the decorative borders would be the optimal way to revisit her Game Boy collection. What is the biggest hassle you're willing to go through in order to play a game, past or present? Keep up the stellar work. Oh, mate, uh, I would go... To play Pac-Man Versus, I'd I'd track everything down again to (laughs) play that again. I fucking love that game. Mm-hmm. Do you ever play Pac-Man versus Tom? Is that the Wii U one? It was no. on GameCube, oh, where that... you plugged oh, right. your Game Boy Advance I do into remember the that. GameCube. I remember. I, I think similarly, I played a lot of hassle, a hassle to play that Zelda game where you had to have Game Boys plugged in. Do you remember that? That's one? um. Was that Four, four Swords? Seasons? Mm, four Swords. Four, I think, four yeah. Swords. Four yeah. Seasons. Not quite as good. <laughs> so uh, you be summer, I'll be autumn. Matt's like, oh, sorry, um, I'm thinking about classical music again. I'm <laughs> um, I try to think of other games that like I would go out my way for. I think you know having a land land um, a time splitters two uh, session again is something mm. that I've always wanted to do, but. Mm. It's just fine. My problem is not finding the hardware; it's finding the people that also give a shit. <laughs> They're harder to find, I think, yeah, than yeah, a fucking yeah. PS2 no, no. multi-tap. Yeah. Like it's, it's really tough to try and get. Do you want to like, you know, we play Ghost about... Two this weekend? No, I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think yeah, <laughs> like, you know, we were saying in the the new new section, uh, feeling sad um, earlier, is that like the worst part is you can get all the stuff now. You can still get all the stuff if you really want to. You know, buy all the things you had when you were a kid, but it's just, yeah, the situation's not the same. The people mm. aren't there. I bid on a PS2 on eBay about mm. a month ago. Mm. I bid more than I thought I wanted to, really, and I was winning it for a long time. Mm. And I, over the days, I regretted it more and more and more that I bid, like, 150 quid on a PS2. 100 for a PS2? It was a PS2, and it was, at like, 60 games as well, right? It had a oh, lot right, of okay. stuff. And okay, had, like, all right. had, like, all the yeah. controllers and memory cards and everything else. And day by day, it was like two weeks left on this thing, and it got closer and closer. And I was like, "Please, someone help me! Please, I don't, I don't want this anymore. I regret everything about this decision because <laughs> I knew I was never going to play it. It's just going to sit in this room. Yeah. I mean, right now, I'd look at it and go, "What a waste!" <laughs> so I was like, and uh, thankfully, I was outbid, so it's a happy ending there. I just wanted to play Burnout Three. Mm-hmm. That's all I wanted it for. It didn't even come with Burnout Three. This bundle. <laughs> Because all the bundles on eBay, if you look, it's always like 12 copies of FIFA, 
Yeah. Uh, ran- <laughs> yeah. A couple okay. of couple of Tiger Woods games, some random management game like LMA Manager or something. The bouncer, and the, and the, yeah, and like all the shit, and then it'd be like, I'm also kind of like like it comes with like the worst sort of all the Silent Hill games, not all the ones you actually want to try and play. Um, but yeah, I didn't. But get I'm it. looking here. I'm looking here. Black PlayStation Two with a two terabyte hard drive filled with games, obviously. Hundred and forty pounds. Hmm. What were you thinking? I want you legit. That's a that's a that's piracy, isn't it? Yeah, that's naughty. I'm not yeah. getting involved yeah, in that. But not I real piracy. Authentic- I wanted to piracy. open the case and see the game and the the manual and mm-hmm. be like, this is a happy memory for me. Play Can you plug FIFA. a PS2 into the back of your TV at this point? I don't even know. I didn't even get that far <laughs> to think here. That's one of the things I did worry about, is that would it even work? There's no room under my TV. For any. I've had to unplug my son's uh, Switch from the TV. <laughs> so now he can't play it on the TV. It's only a handheld to him now. And he's like, can I have it on the TV, Dad? No, you cannot, because I've oh. got every other thing plugged into this thing. But yeah, it's now a Switch Lite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is mad that modern TVs don't have like eight HDMI ports. Mm. Like, why not? Mm. Why have they only got four? Maximum. I've got a new TV. Yeah, it's, so. a, it's a good TV. It's got four. I'm like, there's just not enough. They're just. I know most people aren't like us, and probably and have like <laughs> every console in the world. Yeah, but I find it annoying. I find it annoying too, and and especially when one of them's like, oh, plug your speakers into this. But no, I don't want to plug my fucking speakers into the HDMI port. What's that about? <laughs> We just need own. to get into the deeply twatty world of AV amps. Then you're all fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I live in a two-bed flat, though, so my neighbours would not appreciate me <laughs> whacking in a fucking massive amp. Yeah, um, How the fuck is the original PS2 better looking than the PS5? It's mm. mad, isn't it? Like that console looks way better than the PS5. I don't know, the original PS2, I don't know, man. Oh, I yeah, like that. man, oh, I liked it. Yeah. I, I liked it, was it. Weird in an interesting way, rather than just like, oh, yeah. good, it's a Matt cheap is biting his lip because he wants to mention the rotating PlayStation logo. I can tell. Oh, oh, it went mate. in my mind, and then I thought, no. Nah. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> I can tell. Because <laughs> <It's the best. laughs> <laughs> I was mentioned literally last week or the week before, wasn't it? Or yeah, maybe it when I was on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, Tired I don't material. know. That, is that the era then, Tom, for you? Is that the one that you want to go back to more than any other? I always think I always think about going back to like Mega Drive because I was an actual kid then. But PS2 was like PS2 was the era when I had I was I was writing about games a fair bit. <laughs> you nearly I said I had money. Right? I, had, I didn't have <laughs> you money. Nearly said I didn't. That I then. didn't have any money. But I remember <laughs> back in those days, we I was running like early days video gamer before it was even called video gamer. It used to be called Pro G, bizarre name. Um, but it became video gamer, right? Um, and Frog. we used to, we're at university, and I used to come back from lectures or whatever. And you, when you open the door, you'd feel the, the force against it because all the promo copies from PS2 had been <laughs> delivered. So you'd get, yes. like, I'd get like 10 or 12 discs yeah. in the post. That was a, that's, I missed that because that was like a, what have I got today? It's, oh, it's a copy of Alice in the Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland, the PS2, excellent. Oh, it's, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory on PS2, just what I was looking forward to. Um, <laughs> but it was a nice. I like that. Like, like these days, you get a code in an email. It's like, nah, that's all right. Yeah, but it's not the same totally as, right. a, as an unbranded blank disc. That you yeah, used to the get blank in a disc. Bag. It was. It was just yeah. It was with like it had the name of the game just printed on it in blue text. Um and yeah, the, the the it was silver, wasn't it? The same as the other side, <laughs> just with the, just the, this side had the name mm. of it on. At one point, we got like once you got to a certain level, you got access to stuff that right, and you run on test PS2s, right? And we used to get sent a lot of this <laughs> right. stuff, and they always had on them, "You must return this once you finish with it." We never no, returned never a single return, one; just no. tossed it in the corner of the office somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, when we started getting um. We went for a period when when we were on uh, play radio with um, uh, Joypod. That was when we started getting an insane amount of code through the post because we had a producer that used to go and source all this sort of stuff. And it was always those. Do you remember the three hundred and sixty disc with a big yellow stripe along the middle of it, like say mm. promo or whatever like that? I used to love that shit. Just getting stacks of that and just going, yeah, I'll fucking play. <laughs> and then um, yeah, and then you realise that actually. Actually, games aren't that very good, really, are they? So the majority of them, <laughs> it's better now just to play the games that you want to play. <laughs> I think that's the realisation I've had in the past 10 years. 
Um, yeah. What was the question? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what games you want to play? To, yeah, lengths you go to to play a game. Uh, download it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people won't even do that. Still want update? <laughs> Put new batteries on the controller? <laughs> Time is money. I can't be. You know. He doesn't play many games these days, does Matt no, Murray? No. Uh, do you busy? Question. Yeah. Um, it's from MD Kraboffs. And he says, Do you wash your legs in the shower? Who else's legs am I going to wash? <laughs> yes. Of course I do. He's How do you a, not wash your so, legs in the shower? They just... You really are the Chandler. <laughs> Of the group, aren't you, Matt? Could I be any less funny? <laughs> <laughs> he really is. Just fires them out, doesn't he? Um, uh, I I used to, but then I watched a video the other day that was like, oh, you've got more bacteria in your leg if you wash your legs. I was like, what? Uh, what? How do you get, more, how do you get more bacteria in your legs by washing What are you washing it with? Bacteria? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. How can how can you washing your leg possibly make it worse? Because I why because I wash the soap off with my own piss. <laughs> well, that's that's, that's antibacterial, what... isn't it? <laughs> I don't think it's antibacterial, man. That's what that's yeah. what that explorer dude Bear Grylls told me. Not personally. <laughs> I don't remember shows. But I, I, how can I, what, okay? What seriously? What have you watched that says washing this your is legs what's is annoying? Work? And this is why this fucking show doesn't work because no one gives a shit about <laughs> the video game chat. And in. we're gonna get yeah, we're gonna get so many messages of feedback next week about pissing on your own legs. Like that's the, this is why well, this that's is a standard shit. week though. To be fair, this is not why we're not winning the independent podcast awards again this year. The, the, it's 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 not gonna happen. Well, I won't send them this section. Them. Okay, good. Send them another section. Yeah, I'll send, send them, them the bit the s- um, where feeling Tom sad felt sad. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> send them that. I guess that was a fucking award. Um, do you <laughs> yes. wash your legs? Yes, Sean? I do, yes. How do you avoid washing your legs in the shower? Because well, no. there's a difference between washing your legs and letting the water just yeah. drain off your legs. No, but, but like all the... I mean, without, you know, vividly describing me having a shower... Sean, last week we talked about how he's shit. It's fine. Doesn't like all the soap just because yeah, I, all the soap just sort of gets on him, and then I'll like give him a scrub. I've okay, never yeah, seen yeah, a guest. Yeah. I've never seen a guest regret coming on the show this much. <laughs> I guess. I feel like I feel like I've gone back about fifteen years to when this used to be my life more. Yeah, yeah the glory I, days. I thought I'd gone past it, and That's we had that magic. chat about yeah, we had that chat about how we're all forty odd, and then. <laughs> But this is still happening. Yeah. <laughs> Format still works. <laughs> yeah, those those fucking youngsters. I bet they don't wash their legs. They're like filthy. Um, I th- what do you mean? You you lift your leg up. You wash your leg. <laughs> well, lift, why why do you need to lift it? To rub it. Well, it's it's there. You don't need to lift. I can reach it without. You double lifting over, it. dear. Oh, I don't want to think about <laughs> oh, that. God, this is mad. <laughs> Tom, do you wash your legs? I mean, sometimes I think. I mean, often it's just like the yeah, like the just trickle Residual. water goes down them. I guess it's a trickle down effect. Sometimes I think, well, why not put some shower gel directly on? If I'm feeling <laughs> on it on the leg, it's a treat. Because yeah. yeah. it's expensive it's now. Have you seen it? You can't even get a fucking bottle of shower gel for a pound in the pound shop no more. It's a no, piss take. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the, yeah. Maybe forever. <laughs> Yeah, I think this show's on its course now. <laughs> um, should we get socials? Yes. Uh, Sean, are you streaming this week? Oh, fuck it. Am I? Um, you know, le- when's it not time for Lego? Like, what's the deal? It is time for Lego. It's, it's, time just, for, it's just yeah. that it's all time. time. It would be time for Lego if you fucking bought Lego, but he didn't. He bought some Chinese <laughs> knockoff of Lego. So, no, it's not time for Lego. Um, it would be time for Lego. It's just it's also uh, time for a very few difficult weeks at work. Okay. Um, so... I'm going to say no this week, but soon I'm going to build some flipping Lego. Dave, I just want to say, right, I was this close to saying, and you're bricking it, but I didn't. I didn't okay, say well that. Done. Well yeah. done. Well done. I wrote, yeah, I, I used that it. AI generated music website to make a song about how Matt's puns are shit this week, and I think he might have taken it to heart. <laughs> oh, no. Um, oh, maybe I could put that in the end of the show. Okay. To me, yeah. uh, okay. Okay. So no streams this week. James will be back maybe the week following, and then maybe there'll be some streams. Who knows? When but if you he's want, back, he's to... back on the show next week. He is, Allegedly. Yeah. Believe it or not. I know. Uh, 
if you miss our streams that we're not doing and you want to watch them later, go to YouTube, search for TCGS, and you've got Amazon Prime and a Twitch account, connect to them, and you get one free sub a month. Why not go over to our channel when we're streaming or even when we're not streaming and give us your free sub. We really, really appreciate it. We're on Patreon, which is patreon.com slash TCGS for our exclusive monthly bonus podcast, for our streams, talk servers, whatever we're doing for patrons. And the website is tcgs.co for links to our amazing Discord community, store to buy the James Farley t-shirt, podcast, socials, anything else is all there. Tom, thank you so much for joining us this week. I hope you have enjoyed it on some level. Yeah, I mean, it's been good. Um, I just want to leave you with one little thing, and that is this week on the Best Games Ever podcast on VG247 and other podcast platforms, I do a little bit about uh, the day Princess Diana died um, okay. and how I was playing snooker that morning. So if you want to hear the full story, <laughs> that's quite the tease, I know. So find that. It's out on Tuesdays, uh, Tuesday afternoon. You'll figure out. What, you'll professionally? See what or what, were you a good snooker player? I, I was a good snooker player. Yeah, I played for years. Um, I kind of played like clubs and stuff and played for like the district as a kid. You played so for the district. I was a good Listen. snooker. I was a good snooker player. I was never good enough. It's just one of those things, right? Where you're never quite good enough. But yeah, you never quite got your big break. Life in general. Yeah. Yeah. Really. yeah. Shut up, Matt. <laughs> Fuck you, Matt. Forever. <laughs> Fuck off, Matt. I fucking hate you. Definitely listen to uh, that podcast, though. I genuinely love it. And uh, like, I, I, I really enjoy that pod. And uh, the, I, I think um, you should have kept up your. Football management. Yeah. How many, listeners, how many listeners does this get a week? Twelve. <laughs> um, I don't think we announced that, do we? Nah. So we announced. Am I going to see? Am I going to see an uptick on the my show? Possibly. On the my show. I'd be interested. In, I'd, I'd be interested. See, the problem is you've left it to the socials to mention it. I mentioned um, it right at the beginning as well, but oh, that's maybe, good then. Maybe when you tweet this out, you could just do a little. <laughs> Matt, can you do that? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll put a link in the show notes. How about that? No, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a link in the show notes. No one, no one fucking that. reads the <laughs> show notes. That's the problem. Um, but no, what's the name of the podcast again? Let's get that out of uh, there, definitely. Best, best Games Ever podcast. Best Games Ever podcast. It'd be it's nice 30 to... minutes. Unlike this, it's very tight and sort of yeah, to oh, the people point. People love it when they're three hours, though. Mm, they they love it. They mm, maybe should yeah, make it a longer. short one, really. Yep. Um, but no, thanks so much for having you on. It's it, it's good to finally sort of virtually meet you. Jesus, it, we've been chatting on the internet for God, it, may, it must be close to ten years now. So, mm. um, uh, okay. Well, some some of us are more happier about that than the others. <laughs> Thank you so much for living it, everyone. We will catch you next week. James will be back. Sorry about that. Um, we will see you then. Goodbye, everybody. Cheerio. Bye. <laughs>